Hi, cat. Thank you for grabbing it. <laughs> I don't know where he is. This is now the third day, second day, third day, third day that uh, that double M double three double M double three hasn't joined us, and thus we have to have somebody else grab his uh his little quibble redemption. Please come on in. It is day 26. 26 of uh, the Queebmas, Queebvent, Queebtacular uh, post Noitmas Eve something. <laughs> Open it at first, and Twitch was like, ha, disconnected from chat. I've I've been having some hinky problems with my computer today and considering uh, yesterday with the internet. So it's fine. It's fine. Frostman. Hey, oh, I would ask you, how have you been? But I saw on disco. I'm sorry. Alex, hi. Dancing babies. So much better than the dancing babies on Allie McBeal, don't you think? Uh, yesterday was pretty great. Um, ended a little early. Kui was exhausted. And, uh, yeah, we had a good crowd. Uh, had a nice chat. Everything was good. Frostman, I have not had COVID. I have not actually spoken one on one to a doctor. However, from what I have seen from my close friends, the the key, I guess, is to getting the cough under control. So if you can figure that out, then then you're good. It's rough. I'm like I'm I'm pissed off for you having it. Truly, I'm really sorry. Uh, you will notice we do not have a box today because we are out. We are out of, uh, of days. However, that does mean that I will be handing Queeb, uh, his choice of game today. Well, I guess it's technically my choice of game. I will be handing it to him and he will like it regardless. The moment was more worried about the fever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Your temperature is what I normally make sure my rats are at before I feed them to my snakes. <laughs> so, uh, get it under control, please. Oh, perfect. Good, good, good. You will notice that there is someone different on screen. That is Murph's new enclosure. Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, almost done. I just need to, um, I need to black out the small sides and then I'm changing the background. That's the background that came with the uh, enclosure. 
but he's in there. He's, uh, <laughs> Let me see where he is. Hold on. See if I can see him. He's been. Oh! Did you see it move? Is he stuck? <laughs> that was so weird. That was so weird. What happened? There we go. I mean, is it is it really a stream if we don't have internet connectivity problems? I'm truly. Again, bear with me if you can hear me. Bear with me. I'm looking. Yeah. So the room keeps going up and down. Yahoo is pulling. Fine. Solid. Yeah, solid. Mm -hmm. The computers, yeah. Oh, how weird! Like a few people. In chat, they're like, yeah, actually, my internet's lagging right now, too. And so is uh, Sergeant Kenai. There we go. Are we back? If you can hear me, give me, like, the world's best emote, please. But only the best one. Don't give me a shitty emote. All right, let me see. Oh, I see him. So he is right there, like right above my finger. He's in his uh, his house. He uh, he was in his tree trunk, right? And I think he was excavating because I rounded the corner to look, and the whole tree trunk is just shifting. It's like the ground was moving. It was like the epitome of like if this tree trunk's a rock and don't come a knock in. But he's the only one in there. Like you can see his little his little piddle face. Yes, thank you. Oh, look at look at the cheeks. Them cheeks. Okay, I think we're back. Hi, hello. Thank you so much for uh, hanging in there during whatever the fuck that was. You know, it's just typical uh, typical internet bullshit. All right, so we've got. Mr. Murph is chilling. Mr. Archimedes is hiding. Miss Ripley Fay, Aura Jr. is lurking. Okay, we're good. It is 5.55. If you're just joining, hi, hello. My name is Ms. Queeb, and this is day 26. I can't speak Spanish, otherwise I would give it to you in Spanish. I also have a horrible Spanish accent, even though I took like three years of Spanish in uh, 
in school. Miss Stephanie, hello, how are you? I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Them cheeks. Venti size. Thank you. Thank you. You would think that I should have been able to count on my fingers, but I get very, uh, because my Spanish accent is so horrendous, I get very self-conscious. It's one of those things where you would think with three years, I should be able to speak it at least like conversationally. Can't. <laughs> like not even a little bit. It's more like if someone is having a conversation in Spanish, I can like occasionally pick up a word or at least figure out what, what tense of a word they used. Yeah, it, it's hopeless. Stephanie spent Christmas with cheeks. Very nice. Very nice. Shit, apparently someone tried to enter Windsor Castle and they got arrested and they're being held on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon. Well, now, you know what? Good on them, mate. Good on them. Actually, it's very, it's very funny you say that, Queeb. There is, um, hold on, where is it? Uh, let's, there is a Christmas light display out past, where is it? It's like, you know, the area that I went to go pick up the babies? It's in that area. How do I... Century-old lavender farm just outside L.A. It's called Highland Springs Ranch. It's at 123 Farm, and it's basically a lavender farm, and there's, like, tons of lights. It's literally within maybe 10 minutes of where I went a couple weeks ago. Sergeant Kenai, are you out there, like, past Cherry Valley? I remember learning Japanese, and I couldn't learn it because there weren't any instances I would use it. Same. Like, you would think I lived in Texas, so I should have had some kind of opportunity to speak Spanish, but I didn't. Like, like literally no nothing. Um, I once tried to learn Italian. Same. Tried to learn Russian. Same. Like, and with both of those, like with Russian, I had only just started. Like, I learned the alphabet. And then uh, I got very discouraged because at the time, you know how nowadays Babbel and uh, Duolingo are like like amazing and whatnot? Well, at the time, they didn't really have those. They had, uh, what was it, Rosetta Stone? And even with Rosetta Stone, I couldn't do it. And if I was looking for you yesterday, you you would have loved yesterday. Uh, I mentioned you. I said, we have someone who comes in chat every day and he tells us a dad joke. And so literally chat dissolved into a sea of dad jokes. And I thought fondly of you. Never do that again. You can only be the, the only dad joke person in this chat. Or at the very least, you need to be around to supervise to make sure we, we uh, don't get up to, to any trouble. 
Sergeant Keene, I have to jump mine every few weeks because I forgot to start. That that's where Queeb is. Um I think the spiders have taken it over. Whenever he does need to go anywhere, he just takes my car. Which is fine. I don't I don't care. I love my car. I think it's amazing. I think everyone should experience it. Yes, very nice. Very nice. It's very funny, Stephanie. Um I I don't care if he uses my car like he can get in and and touch the stereo and the the AC and whatever else. And uh like I don't care. But he gets really annoyed if I drive his car. Like I can drive it, but if I, even if I move the seat and I move it back to exactly where it was, he's like, you moved it. But yeah, I moved it back, but you moved it. Like it's, I would much rather him just take my car so he can just like, so he's fine. If I don't mind either, I encourage it. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> I think I know that Queeb doesn't like how I drive. He thinks I drive too fast. I don't. I just I drive with purpose. I I drive with with a, the the point to get where I'm getting as safe as possible, but as fast as possible. Thank you, Queeb. Exactly what we wanted to see. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it, that that's pretty much how it is here. That's it. If you're just joining us, hi, hello, my name is Ms. Queeb. It is uh day twenty six of uh Queebmas Boxing Day Extravaganza Variety Hour Spectacular. Uh that beautiful ravishing creature coming out of the red tree trunk in the middle of your screen is not Ripley. That is Murphy. Ripley is within a couple of feet of me over here hanging out. She is uh, next to, I guess he's her brother. Although it is funny because... uh <laughs> I, when Quee picked out Ripley, I made sure that her, her genetics, that they would work with Huxley. Be, she, remember, she was the baby mama. Uh, even though we probably will not breed them, but I did want to be able to potentially have that chance. And new baby boy has uh, two of uh, of Huxley's morphs. So... So we could still get some Huximus babies, potentially, uh, using uh, Archimedes. Would you switch to teleporting instead of driving if you had a chance? Only if, if it was commonplace. Look, I don't trust my government right now. I don't think anybody should trust our government. Um, I'm just saying... So if this were like several decades in the future and uh, I don't have to be worried that teleporting is just a chance for my government to clone my DNA, then, uh, then yeah, I absolutely would. But I have to think, um, I have to think of the safety of my, um, of my future clone. So, I mean, I can visit the UK every day and come home to Miss Queen every day to hold me back. <laughs> oh, Queeblet, we are not staying in the US for, for the rest of our lives, but it's cute that you think so. We uh, have not, we are actually about to do that. Give me one moment. I just remembered I need to send a message to 
my uh, my friend K2. And uh, we will be doing that. So hold on. It may be, oh, so if it were a superpower, if I could just like snap my fingers and I'm in Nepal, yes. Absolutely. Like whenever you originally mentioned it, like you using that word made me think of transporter technology. And so like I've, Sir, I've watched way too many episodes of Star Trek that dealt with the fuckery that is the the transporting mechanism. So uh, I am a little bit bones on that. Just a little bit. But yeah, like if it's like I blink and I can teleport, absolutely. I am very jealous that Queeb was able to enjoy it. I have not seen it. I have not seen any real new movies. I think the last one I saw was Black Widow. Um, I'm not enjoying this pandemic. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it. Like, was it Jumper? I don't remember. Uh, what the hell? Oh. One of the bad things about Ripley being over here is that occasionally you'll hear a thud. It's because she was climbing and she fell. The oh, 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 oh. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. There he is. There's Murph. Murph. Murph, we love you, Murph. Yeah. Is she... <laughs> She's trying to get into her hide. Uh. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, um, back in the day, when I was single, I would go see movies like every week by myself in the middle of the day. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Don't talk to me. And I enjoyed the full experience being with Queeb. Haven't done that even before the pandemic. We didn't do it that often since the pandemic. We haven't at all. Um, and I don't enjoy watching movies on my laptop and we don't really have a living room to watch TVs. So. They say it. Okay. So Murph's doing good. Get him. He's just. He's just hanging. Hold on. I'll attempt it. I'm not good at clipping. I feel like an idiot. Oh, I have to add a title. Um. Murph yawning. LOL. Okay, it's doing its thing. One moment, Queeblet. The bits are doing something, spinning up hamsters, grabbing popcorn, spinning up hamsters, applying middle out compression, looking for keys. <laughs> there we go. Uh, a copied. I love, I love that he yawned exactly when I said back in the day when I was single. Okay, there we go. I've heard snakes yawn to control body temp. They yawn for a couple of different reasons. Uh, they will yawn to uh, 
sometimes regulate body temperature. They will also yawn to uh, if they don't have enough oxygen, like, like if basically if they're out of breath, they'll yawn to encourage it. And lastly, they will yawn uh, after they they'll yawn before and after a meal, but it's not really yawning. It's them resetting their jaw. Um, their bottom jaw, it's not one piece. It's two pieces that pivot together. Like they, there's like a hinge. So um, sometimes it will miss a line and they have to yawn to kind of pop it back into place. So occasionally like you'll see them yawn and then you'll see the lower part of their jaw. Like it almost looks like it wiggles because it's one piece is moving and one piece isn't. It's very creepy. Look at his colors. Isn't he pretty? I think he is an inchy. He looks like one. He's just, he's just zooming. He's just hanging out. We probably have about, let's, let's say 25 minutes before Queeb joins us. If you need to go get food, by all means, please do. Let's do some hints. This one's going to be. I, I, I wish there was like an easier way for me to do this. Like, I wish like, you know, the technology in, in the Matrix, not please don't spoil me on the new one. I haven't seen it. I don't care to see it right now. I want to like be able to like, like I need to see it on a bigger screen, than my laptop. But you know how like you could just like think of something and and and. Boom, you're an expert. I wish I could do that with these games, like watch the game and boom, I'm I'm an expert. And I could tell you, like, like give you a better example, but we have what we have. So hence for game of the day. It is a relatively new title. It's only a, a few years old. Lots of very positive reviews. We're talking like well over 5,000. Um, I'm looking at the studio. Uh-oh, am I losing internet again? Or is it just slow to load? It's probably, they just, they have a lot of elements. It's like slow to fucking load. Um, like a decent amount of games at the uh at the studio let me go back murder i have they're amazing path loser hi uh do you guys have a list of your game of the years queeb is i think he's working on that right now i don't know if he's going to break it up into separate genres or 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 just do one big video but yeah he's working on it look at murphy he's just this current enclosure it's a little bit more narrow than his old one but it's overall bigger so he's uh he's learning all right for tags for game of the day, if you have no idea what's going on, hi, hello, my name is Miss Queeb. There is a game that Queeb is going to play today, and he doesn't know what the game is, but I do, and you don't. So we need you to guess the game before Queeb does. We do have a slight disadvantage in that it is a game that he owns. Or rather, it was put on a list. There have been a couple of occasions where... Uh, he uh he added a game that he didn't have like like for whatever reason the tags for this game are and by the way this is from steam some of them apply some of them won't they're they're user defined so it's it's bullshit okay multiplayer roguelike action roguelike Action, hack and slash, rogue light, RPG, dungeon crawler, single player, local co op, 
story rich, pixel graphics, isometric, procedural generation, action RPG, 2D, co-op, atmospheric, fantasy, and action adventure. Uh, the thumbnail, ah! it it looks it looks comic comic bookish. Um, the screenshots are very. Lots of color in the game. Uh, let's see. The gameplay, it almost like the style, it almost looks like Noita and that it's like very, uh, uh, like fantastical and, and like there's like woodland type stuff. Like woodland areas, and there's just like a lot of magical elements going on. It's pretty cool. Um, so we've got a story driven action roguelike multiplayer that is. What is that phrase that I hate? Procedural generation. Uh, what else can I say? Mm -hmm. A lot of people are are very into uh, the art style. It looks like it, it does get a lot of uh, attention. Pardon me, I keep yawning. It's because I'm cold and I'm tired. Oh, I am so sorry, Tronics. Womp, 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 womp. Multiplayer co-op pixel graphics and isometric make me think children of Morta. Not too many co-op rogues, rogue lights come to mind for me. He landed on a whammy. <laughs> I love when they come in and they just, I don't know. See, this is what I would do if if I made my money by spamming chat rooms, okay? I'm I'm going to I'm going to let you in. So if 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 any of you fuckers are listening, here's what I would do. I would infiltrate the community. Okay? And I would do that with like, you know, several different communities like, you know, I wouldn't do it every night, but I would do it for a little bit. And I would get it to a point where what I said was not out of the blue for, for someone to say it. Like I would make it, I would make it a reference. Because I'm going to take that more seriously than I am something, especially the username Tronics M9 WD40, whatever. Where's my little hammy? Where did he go? And did Faye? No, Faye is Faye's having some problems. Yes, I probably just use bots and yeah. I mean, and it, so. Oh, sh <laughs> poor, poor Faye. <laughs> She's just like hanging out of her uh, of her tree trunk. Okay, let me see if I can actually 
talk to chat while I climb up a step ladder and fix her tree trunk. Oh, she's pissed too. She's like, God damn it. Um, yeah, so I think the reason why I am not a uh, why I'm not a spammer is because I would think too logically, like the creation of, of bot accounts, that that's too much. Like me, if I say something, I want someone to take me seriously. Right? Hey, cookie girl. Are you stuck? Oh, you were just, you were having a day, huh? Are you having a day? Yes, you're having a day, my love. She's like, nah. Not happy. I know. I'm sorry. I I think you might be too big for your tree trunk. I'm sorry, baby. I will find you another tree trunk. Okay, that was a little a little difficult to do, but I got it done. Ugh. But yeah, like I would I would want to be seen as legitimate because to me it would uh it would be too much time and effort to just do spam accounts. Like imagine going through like like yes, creating bots and and having them do your dirty work and whatnot, but also think of how many times they've been banned or deleted. I wouldn't think that they would get any clicks. Am I just, am I naive in thinking that? Where is little man? Oh, he's he's already back in his house. Right above my finger. He's right there. <laughs> and Faye is just unhappy. It's probably automated, so you press a button. Yeah. See, this is typical Miss Queeb though. Me romanticizing the life of a of a of a spam botter, bot spammer. It's fine. If you're just joining us, it is day 26. We have a game. I just gave some hints. I'm about to give some more. We do have a queeb in the shower. That's nice. You guys have about 10 to 15 minutes. So please feel free to go change out your laundry if that's what you need to do. You have time to go get a drink. I guess that's why some streamers went to verified accounts to chat, but I don't want to verify my phone number. I tried doing that and uh, it, it said that they were unable to verify my phone number. And I'm like, I'm, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, friend. It's my number. I'm not going to jump through fucking hoops. And, uh, on the verification thing, that's what Instagram and Facebook went to. Like, I tried creating, excuse me, whenever I made the Miss Queeb Instagram account, I made it and they immediately deactivated it. And then like a day later, they sent me a message saying, hey, um, we need to know if you're a real person. Like, this was a legitimate email. Um, and they said, like, like it was from Instagram. It, I know what a, a phishing email is. And they said, we need to get a photo of you holding up a piece of paper with your name and this six-digit code along with your username. And we need that for our records. I thought it was a, a scam. I looked into it. It was not. So I sent the piece of paper. I was so pissed off. I had like a shitty look on my face. And then within literally five minutes of me sending that email, I got access to that Instagram account again. Um, and it wasn't like someone 
held it hostage. It was legit. They needed, Instagram needed to verify that I was an actual human. And that was beginning of last year. Yeah, beginning of last year because I was working at the shitty company. And I had to like go in the bathroom and one of my coworkers walked in on me taking a photo and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I have to verify my Instagram account. She's like, oh, I don't use Instagram. I think that's kind of like bullshit. And I'm like, okay, Gail. Thanks. I'm so glad I asked for your, uh, your assistance. Don't even have social media unless you count Twitch. Um, got COVID this Christmas on the bright side. Don't have to do laundry. I hate that you got COVID, but I'm glad that it's an excuse <laughs> to not do laundry. We actually have at least one more person in here right now that uh, tested positive, and I hope both of you get better super soon. I also hate when someone goes like, yeah, we need to register you for this useless thing because it's required to do the other useless things we need you to do. <laughs> fucking Gail. I'm telling you, fucking Gail. Fucking Gail. Like, there's a, there's a Gail or a Deborah at every office. And they all make some statement about how they don't use social media. What the fuck? I just, I told my mother yesterday, Merry Christmas, and I just, like, she went on a political diatribe, and I just said, Merry Christmas, and I just left it at that. That was yesterday at 1.03 p.m. It is 6.27 p.m., and she texted back, Merry Christmas to y'all, too. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure, ma. Sure. Twitch shall not have my number. They act like they already have it. They won't even let me uh, use it to verify. So I have to verify via email, which that's a that's a whole thing. My boss is named Debbie, and she used to have social media, but now she doesn't. <laughs> Debbie. I worked with, what was her name? I don't, or, like, I work with someone who's very specific about her name. It was like Debbie or something. I don't mind verify by email. I don't pay attention to that. Man, family politics during holidays is this whole BS mini game thing now, isn't it? I, I don't even... I don't address it like I don't I'm not around to deal with it. But even in uh, messages like. Uh, excuse me, text conversations. I, I'm more like, you know, uh, like, for instance, my mother is going on a. Um, uh, on a QAnon rant because that that's my mother. Uh, it's so I'm just. My response was just like, well, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good one. <laughs> like, I don't encourage. If they're going to spew nonsense at me, I can spew nonsense back. They've already made it very obvious that they don't care what I think. They don't care if there are politics that directly affect me in play. So I'm just not even going to engage. By the way, if you guys were here yesterday when we had that Star Trek conversation, that was awesome. You guys were amazing. Uh, if you weren't 
here. You totally missed out. We like just we talked about Star Trek for like 45 minutes. It was great. And Queeb like said nothing because he's he's not into Star Trek. He doesn't get it. It's not his thing. I think he saw the 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 newer movies like on the on the Kelvin timeline, but that was it. And even when you say words like Kelvin timeline, he's like, what? I hope everybody has had an amazing and wonderful uh, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, uh, oh, fucking what is it called? Uh, Festivus, Festivus, that was huge for a while. Uh, Saturday, that's also a good one. I hope everybody, like, like, whatever you did, I hope it was great. If you had to get into a political battle with your parents or into an argument with your Aunt Lisa because she's spewing at the mouth again, like a rabid dog, I hope you got in some good quips or some good hits with a baseball bat. Wow, that's probably why Miss Queeb doesn't have anything to do with her family. That is correct. Floored. I like your name. <laughs> Hi, uh, Queeb should be here any moment. He's getting ready. Yeah, I would be an orphan if my family is cute. I, I just honestly, King Nesta, I was like, no, nope! and just completely cut them out. Um, <sighs> my brothers aren't, but they're very much, uh, very much an ideal that I don't want to deal with. Nice. Gee, I cannot wait for 2024. Woo, yay. Woo, so fun. That's exactly how I feel. My extended family don't talk to me about such things. I bring inconvenient facts and YouTube videos to the conversation, and they don't like that kind of challenge. I generally just, I, I kind of do the same thing. Like, I will, I will absolutely bring receipts. I'm not going to have someone sitting in front of if I'm forced to sit in front of you during one of the only days off that I have and you're going to spew that bullshit at me darling you got another thing coming we we going to have it out you going to listen i need to get out of this country as soon as possible <sighs> yeah Thank you, Implored. You're my favorite now. It's you. Let's go over hands one last time because Queeb is about to pop up. Uh, we have a comic booky looking thumbnail. Green Arc. Hi, how are you? Uh, Queeb is about to join us. He is maybe five to ten minutes away from walking onto the screen. We are doing hints for game of the day. Uh, I picked the game. Queeb knows about its existence, but he doesn't know what game I picked from his list, and chat does not know it. Uh, I give hints. The goal is for chat to guess the game before Queeb can guess it. There is an advantage, though, because Queeb will forget games that he has. Yeah. Uh, so today's game of the day, 
the thumbnail it looks i don't know it looks comic booky to me it looks almost similar to that that show gargoyles like just very dark and animated with with like neon colors and stuff <laughs> uh it has very positive reviews well over 5000 reviews all po- uh, very positive it's a few years old um I'm looking at the studio. Ah, eh, like I can't I can't really say anything about the studio. That would pretty much give it away. The screenshots look like uh they actually look pretty cool. They look sort of like like a a, a teensy somewhat pixelated storybook very bitchin uh the tags that were user defined are multiplayer roguelike action roguelike action hack and slash roguelite rpg dungeon crawler single player local co-op story rich pixel graphics isometric Procedural Generation, Action RPG, 2D, Co-op, Atmospheric, Fantasy, Action Adventure. We have had a few guesses so far. I cannot comment as to whether or not we hit it. But only a couple of guesses. So just based on that, what do you think it is? Happy Sunday, Athros. Oh shit, that reminds me. I do have to go take out the trash today. I think that's Murder said Morta and a few people agreed with him and now Path Loser. Am I saying your name right? It is Path Loser, right? Because if that's not it, I'm going to feel like a jackass. Um, the other guess was something called Undermine, which I think Queep has played, right? He said he played a lot of Undermine. Curse of the Dead Gods. Oh. Oh. That is a good thumbnail. It, it's it's similar to uh, to the thumbnail that I have. I like that, though. It, it That is similar. Um... It's more like there's more nature scenes. Undermine is not multiplayer, so no, I missed that. Tags were. I know, right? <laughs> um, the standout tags for this game are isometric, 
2D procedural, uh, let's see, action roguelike, hack and slash, dungeon crawler, fantasy. But yeah, there there were a crap ton of tags. I hate reading off the tags, but that that's kind of the only way that I, I have to relay to you guys what the game is. Disco Ganja. Your name is amazing. And I've actually commented on your name before, I think. Heroes of Hammerwatch. We've actually, have we done Loop Hero? I don't know if we've done Loop Hero, but Loop Hero is actually on, uh, I was uh, on the Epic uh, game giveaway, I believe. Okay, so uh, over 5,000, yes. A few years old, okay. It's very, with this game, you can get more, more up close, I believe, in some instances. It's very weird whenever Queeb records a TikTok in the other room because I can hear him. And my instinct is to just like be quiet when he plays. Murphy's doing okay. He's just chilling out. If you guys have no idea what's going on, my uh, my snake is in the background. He's in that tank. And uh, he's only been in it a couple of hours, so he's still kind of figuring stuff out. Okay, so it's not Hammer Watch, the Heroes of Hammer's Watch, but I'm reading the reviews and it's really sad. It says, um, great game, but the servers aren't maintained anymore. You'll still be able to connect online with friends, one or more people to, to disconnect within 10 or so minutes. Absolutely, please, by all means, I would love to hear about your weird game. Just so you know, the FBI agent that monitors my activity is going to have a field day with this because I went on a rabbit hole last night trying to find the name of a, rom a romance novel I was given when I was 15 that was a Harlequin romance novel. So I was literally Googling stuff like how, how to find... How to find Harlequin Romance Novel, Harlequin Romance Novel Database, Romance Fiction Database. I was Googling words that I thought were in the description and all of that. And yeah, I have no doubt that my uh, my FBI <laughs> agent's going to be like, what the hell is this girl looking for? Hexcraft Harlequin Fair. Oh, experimental RPG and immersive sim set in the shadows of Toronto by night.
Is this game relevant to you? This game doesn't look like other things you've played in the past. <laughs> no, it doesn't, does it? Are big. It has very weird. Uh, I mean, like like some of the stuff. It sounds interesting, but the style of it makes me think that it would kill me. My little impling, please hold. Oh shit! I have like eighty four tabs open. Whoops! It was a dungeon crawler. I remember typing into Google kill child process and then thinking, and they're coming to get me. <laughs> if I ever type something, um, if I need to type something like that, like I get very paranoid. So what I, I'll do, and someone told me this, and it's always worked, and it's only now that I realize he was looking up really bad shit. So if I'm going to Google something, like I once Googled cat nipples. <laughs> because my, <laughs> my cat was licking herself a lot, and she was licking up her hair. And so she had patches everywhere, and she had uh, damage, like done damage on. Thank you one of her nipples, so that's why I Googled it. And I immediately felt questionable. So I was telling a friend this and he said, no, 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 so type whatever you want and then type, uh, type a word that's like similar. Because you know how when, uh, like if you're doing a spell check on a phone, like it'll automatically autocorrect and change stuff. He's like, so, so, look what you're looking for first and then immediately google the word like in, so instead of like cat nipples like like i don't know nim nops or whatever you're gonna google wow what but, have i missed i know right but do that afterwards so that way it looks like it was just a mistake and as soon, <laughs> and i thought it was weird but i just now was like wait a second that's kind of that's kind of a thing Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Fonzie. Hi, by the way. Welcome. Uh, doing okay? I'm actually really exhausted. Like, I just hit a wall, and I don't know why. Yes, yes. See, like like that. Like, actually break it down and, and do that, Google. Did I, did I miss hints? You, you missed hints a couple of times. We can go through it again. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have a comic book style thumbnail. It looks almost similar to Gargoyles, like the old show Gargoyles, Gargoyles like like mostly dark, and then there's some brighter elements. Did you ever watch that? No, I don't think so. What? Um. Or maybe I'm recognizing some of these pictures. <laughs> I remember the big guy, but I don't think... Uh, I'm not so sure. I don't know. Uh, we have well over 5,000 very positive reviews. It's a few years old. And the tags. <sighs> it's such a slog to do the tags. I hate it. It's a, it's, it's a tough job. It, it absolutely is. Uh, multiplayer, roguelike, action roguelike, action, hack and slash, roguelite, RPG, dungeon crawler, single player, local co-op, story rich, pixel graphics, 
isometric is undermine isometric mm. mm -hmm. it's undermine uh, multiplayer What's isometric i don't think it is procedural generation action rpg 2d co-op atmospheric fantasy action adventure oh i Oh, if y'all are asking about Steam purchases, Queeb has already spent like $10 billion at the Steam sale. I'm sure there's more to buy, though. What was the name of that fucking game? I think we played a game by the same dev recently, or looked at one by the same dev. We've had a few guesses so far. Undermine was one of them. Uh, Children of Morta was another, and we've actually had a few people co-sign that. And said that they do, in fact, think that it is Children of Morta. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think. I think. Yeah. Who else? Okay. Who else guessed that? Uh, actually, Murder Hobo was the first person to guess it. Again. Then I'm. Then I'm definitely on board. Yeah. He's. <laughs> he's fucking spot on. The dude knows everything. <laughs> Okay. Uh, since we don't have a box, I have to hand it to you. Oh, I right. Yeah, hand, yeah, of course. I would, I would hand, hand you a candy cane, cane, but I don't know where the box of candy canes are. That's that table. <laughs> that box wasn't for you. You can't be grabbing candy canes. I was, I was munching on them all afternoon. Um, Ms. Creep gave me a stocking yesterday um, mm -hmm. filled with goodness. I think the Ferreros have gone bad. The ones that were in there. They're like two, two days, days old. old. There's, There's no, no way. way. What, how did you buy them? Like a, like an individual but a trio I, I, pack? I a box. Yeah, no, but like a box. Like I normally buy for you. Okay. Candy and I actually, I actually bought some for myself. I bought the fancy little coconut ones. And then the dark chocolate ones. Wow. Um, what are they called? Don't tell me. Um, the white ones are Raffaello's, but I don't what know What did I just fucking one. say? I thought you were talking about the dark chocolate ones. The ones with the hazelnut in them? I don't know that Forget one. Forget it. You've ruined it. You've ruined Christmas. I, I, I did. <laughs> Children wow. of Morta. Well done, Murder Hobo, and anyone else that guessed that. Well done, Murder. What, was the, what were the tags you gave? The number of reviews, I think, is is possibly it, it could it might not be a giveaway, but it could be like a, a confirmation, right? Okay, so it was a few years old, so it came out in September of 2019. Yeah, if you're giving the month Over, away, yeah. No, no, I don't give the month away. I say a few years old. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not helping Murder Hobo cheat. That's why I've gone like above and beyond to make sure that that I am being legit. Uh, over 8,000 reviews. Number of reviews is, yeah, that's definitely... I don't, I don't say that. I say well over 5,000 reviews. I don't say it's 8,651 okay. very positive okay. reviews. What? Stop! Your job is hard enough as it is. My job is hard! And you're, you're fucking with me! Yeah. All right. The tags were just like, it's a slog. It's such a slog. It's uh, like, a lot of people said that it's not multiplayer. Multiplayer. Um, it is. It definitely is, yeah. Co -op. Let's, I think someone else said that... What else did they say? Like, it has both multiplayer and single player tags listed. Uh, wait, are your is your headset Sony XB nine hundred in or something like that? I have the same on my head at the moment. I think XM fours. Uh, thank you guys again for the gift yesterday. Got Isaac. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, hold on, I'm going back through uh, chat super quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. 
Christmas is meant to be ruined. That's what it's there for. You are correct, Path Loser. You are correct. Um, the giveaway for me was multiplayer co-op pixel graphics roguelike. Hey, how's it going? As someone who just came in, what the fuck are we talking about? We just uh, revealed the game of the day, which is Children of Morta. We're going to play some Isaac first up, and then we will be playing Children of Morta. Uh, generally, whenever we do game of the day, chat tries to guess it before uh, Queeb does. Very important announcement. Cat yes. Template claimed I am first and best today. I, I know, right? <laughs> and... and Double M is not in the chat. Has not been in the chat. Oh, maybe, maybe we've... Uh, Are we not cool enough anymore? Maybe we've alienated yet another person because he didn't. He was unable to get it one day. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Looking forward to both... Binding of Isaac and Children of Morta. I was like, what the fuck is he trying to say? Cat is correct. We did ruin them. Uh, so, Queeb, let's, let's have a little chat. How was uh, Isaac yesterday? You mean Noita yesterday? Or Noita, it's yeah. good. I How saw a question it? earlier. Um, did I unlock anything? Yeah, like tons of shit. What's weird is that some of the stuff that was being unlocked... Like we're talking, uh, what was what was one of the basic ones? Uh, there were a few really like some of the stuff that you start with. Yeah, Firebolt was one. It, it's weird. I don't think what's visible. Thank you for the Raffaello. <laughs> that coconut fucking gets everywhere. Um, so I don't think that what's visible on my screen of the stuff that I've unlocked is. Um, Something something very weird with my save file is is going on, which isn't surprising considering I played it since before it was released. Um, and I've deleted my save file a couple of times, and then we've all got all the fuckery with the Steam um, uh, save file syncing. You know how it does. It's kind of like, um, because it takes so damn long, um, I, I don't, I can't do it. Like we've had the game crash almost every fucking time we play. And uh, every single time you do that, you exit out to Steam and Steam goes, oh, cool, a new save file. I'll upload that. Ten minutes later, it's done. It's like, no. So I disabled that. It's, uh, it's very weird. Monkey Lawn Gnome, thank you very much for the raid, dude. Welcome. Hello. Very good to see you, my friend. Hi, Monkey. Uh, I take it you have returned officially from Mexico. You are officially here. You have gone home. Hi. You're over your Noita breakup. <laughs> Define over. I played it yesterday. Christmas Day. That's that's it. Once once a year tradition, I guess we can start. That's our uh, the, the, that's all we needed. It was everybody's Christmas present. Like literally every day someone asks if he's playing Noita again and we decided just like he didn't play anything else. He literally played Noita. And that was it. Uh, honestly, it was it was a lot, um, uh, a lot to take in, and and I, I was very focused on the game, and, and I wasn't that involved with chat, and I was exhausted after a couple of hours. Um, but we did get a we did get a good run in. Um, actually, the first run back was was a good one. So yeah, it was good. The wrapping is frustrating him. What's well, good to not have taboo on it, I guess. Got a little poker streaming in. Going to work on switching over to OBS while watching some Binding of Isaac. Fantastic monkey. So glad you're back in the country. So glad your transit issues are hopefully completely gone. Hopefully you didn't lose your luggage or anything like that. Uh, Rake, what, what do you mean have taboo on it? 
than the whole Neuter deal. I don't dislike the game. Ne never said I disliked it. I'm over it. I've even created a command and a video to go along with that. Um, it ain't for me anymore, that's for sure. But it was, it was fun. I had a good time yesterday. Um, yeah. Anyway, it, it, nothing more to say, really. <laughs> it was a fun venture down memory lane. Played it like that one love you have in preschool that you then met when you're over 30. Both have family, kids, and a good life, but yet you fall in love again, but you know you can't. It's bad, but yet so good. I love Fonzie because he's like, he's bringing some European flair and charm to the chat. No, it's like that, that, that one person you fell in love with in primary school. Mm -hmm. People are falling in love in primary school. I did once. Yep. We held hands during the little mermaid. Um, and then, and then she dumped me like the day after. Yeah. Yeah. You probably deserved it. Uh, maybe my hands were sweaty. I don't know. I don't know. I was, um, I, 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 I didn't look like this in primary school. <laughs> I was a very different person back then. Oh, I, I've seen pictures of you. The ones that your mother sent, you were very, a very, very, very cute kid. Clearly smothering her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the, the pictures she sent where you were just a small child and you still had a beanie on your head. The inklings of a beard already at five. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Uh, is there anything else we need to do before we start? We haven't done jams. I think we should just give it up. Yeah. I mean, I... I How exciting I, can jams be, really? I bought them for me. For like us, for us to have like a date night and like like try them out and 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 watch movies while we we eat it on bread and stuff and it's it's not exciting if we can't eat them as we open them. So that's it's very fine. that's very fair. I really do want to try some of those marmalades, especially the apricot um, jam stuff like uh, flavors from my from from my YouTube. Yeah, let's um. How is let's, uh, have we had no music this entire time? We have, correct. Um, how's Mr. Murph doing? How how are you feeling about him being in his new location? Oh, very happy. I figured. Yeah, no, it's good to have him by my side, where where my boy belongs. <sighs> Your girl was there before. I still have a daughter. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. As soon as you knew Murph existed, you were like off of you, that train. You saw my face when I held him, babe. I did. That there, you know why? I know, I know. He's he's your baby. I understand. I feel this. I, you see my face when I when I hold Huxley. Mm -hmm. That's my child. Like that's that's my baby. No, so it's I very good it. to have him here. Sounds like an amazing date night. I'm going to steal that misquote. Absolutely. I got it from the um, the actual website, which it doesn't matter. Um, but I figured I would pick it up and we would just have like a simple little date night. And just, you know, it, it's it's stupid fun. Do you know what I mean? Like just stupid fun. Oh, is it oh it's already out of stock sometimes they uh they luck out but yeah like i i saw someone mention it on tiktok what uh the the all mem on calendar and mm -hmm. that's what gave me the idea mm -hmm. probably and, doing uh, better than the chanel fucking <laughs> um but yeah like we were gonna do that i was gonna make a little shark coochie board yes that's how we say it in this house. No, we don't say charcuterie. Chuck a you don't have to tell us. Huh? Chuck a <laughs> What is quince? It's a fruit? It's a, it is a fruit. It's like a pear. 
Oh yeah, looks exactly like a fucking pear. Mm -hmm. What's the combination of an apple and a pear? It's like a, a hybrid. Please hold. It, 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 it's, a, it's a quince. A pear and apple hybrid. I don't know about that. We had a different name it for says, it when I was growing up. It's like it says the outside can be smooth or covered with a gray fuzz. The fragrance Asian is pear. strong with hints of vanilla, citrus, and apple. I understand the name change. <laughs> a papple. <laughs> papple. You watch MI2 today? The one of the two of us when the climbing scene and gosh, the music. I told you! Limp Biscuit comes you. on, right, right, right. Oh, I, I watched love it. Uh, the new Bond movie today. It is very, very good. Um, if you're a Bond fan, um, I'm not. I'm not going to say any more about it. It's really good. I, I rented oh. it like six bucks off off Apple TV. <sighs> why? Why do you sigh? I, because I'm annoyed that I don't get to watch movies. You can rent movies too. I don't. I do. No. No. I no. You won't see a blockbuster without going to the cinema. Uh, it, 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 it's not that. I want. I want a big screen. Like we have this huge TV here. This huge TV. You mean the seventy-inch TV sitting right next to me that I haven't turned on since we bought it? This huge fucking TV that I could be watching movies on. And and, and the two hundred dollars soundbar sitting below it. Yeah. Like, like qua? So, so no, I don't want to watch a six dollar movie on a laptop. I want to watch the movie on the the eighty four inch TV with the the two hundred dollar sound bar while I sit in front of it on the laptop doing something else. Um, and then directly after that, I started watching because I couldn't sleep, of course. Um, yes. So I started watching Black Mirror again because that's something we, uh. we talked about very recently. And it's fucking so good. So good. I'm, I'm going to go through the whole, the whole lot uh, uh, over one more time. Watching ma movies on laptop is underrated. I, I love it. Uh, in, in fact, I watched it on this guy. Excuse the very... Uh, what do you call it? Patinaed? Um, uh, iPhone. In bed. I could have it as loud as I want. Ms. Queeb had no idea what was going on. She did ask me to turn away one time because I think the light maybe woke her up. I asked you to move over because you were laying in the exact middle of the bed and Zoe kept waking me up. Right. And whenever I was getting in the bed, you were like touching me. Um, Miss Quee, hold on. Da, 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 da. Wait, where was it? I just lost you. Watching movies on a laptop is underrated. But no, no, no. It makes me sleepy. Like, I get sleepy. I don't. If I'm paying $6 for a movie. You have 48 hours to watch it. I, uh, how how often do I get more than like ten minutes? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I've I have been taking care of your children, doing a, a fucktastic job taking care of your house. I don't have ten minutes. Like right now, as soon as we get finished, I have to go deal with your son, and I have to go play the game of no, stop, stop eating that. Stop it! Drop it! Kennel! 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 Yes, please. I fell asleep in front of Dune watching it on my back. <laughs> but that's, that's the great thing about that, right? Like, you can go back if you pause the movie to get up go to the bathroom whatever i think it's really good i i like the concept i i i watch tv and and lap you know movies on my laptop often but it's always in bed like 
I, I want to have a big screen in front of me. I want to have good sound. I want to be in a comfortable chair. Like, yeah, I do want it to be in a movie theater, but if I can't be in a movie theater, I just want it like just... I want to have an experience. That's all. I just want to have an experience. Right, you're you're very much overthinking it. <laughs> I kind of like it because I can be in my underwear. You can do that in the theater too, but it's frowned upon. <laughs> well, I'm. That is very true, Stephanie. Uh, Fonzie says, by the way, that last Bond movie, Queeb, don't you think the photography director did an amazing job? Like the whole fighting scene in the bad guy base walking up the stairs, it's uncut. Very much so. Um, no, the, the, in a lot of Bond movies, there's segments that are a little bit, the downtime is too heavy. I didn't feel this. This, this was really, it was a balanced movie. Um, and I'm going to stop talking about it because, yeah, if I say too much, I'm going to ruin it for someone for sure. Elemental said, you know what I do nowadays? VR. You can have a personal movie theater with none of the germs. That's true. I, I, one of my favorite things to do with, um, with VR is, is just sit down in this virtual movie theater watching YouTube videos. And it's, it, it sounds weird but it feels almost like you're there. Um, it, it's, re it's a really cool experience. Oh, we didn't do a prediction, did we? I gotta do a prediction, hang on. We did not do a prediction. Oh, I'm all over the place tonight. All right, one you are. You're, you're a, little, a little scatterbrained. It's okay. There we go. All right, so we have the gift. Um, uh, we'll see what's in the item room, I guess. Um, I do need to go take care of Loaf, but this Raffaello is amazing. You never had one before? No, I've never even had the ones that you have. I don't eat them. Um, it's not my thing. Yeah, Raphael's good. It, it's a little bit... I can't do too many of them because of the coconut. Mm -hmm. It gives me kind of like a reflux type of mm. thing. Not exactly, but it's it's weird. It's like a coconut reaction, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they're, they're good. They're great. I, mm -hmm. I like them a lot. A lot of Ferrero's pro, pro, pro products are um, just well made. Very well made. They're, they're, they're good, good flavors. Fifteen minute predict might be too long. Then I refund the points if that's the case. I want I want people to have a shot. I can lower it to 10 minutes if you want, but I know some, I know we get some late, uh, late votes. Wow, charge key too, huh? Damn. Ah, shit, this is not a good room. He says his favorite chocolate you can buy and eat in big quantities is the Toffee. I think I know what you're talking toffee about. Fee. I've never had one. I think it's cold, yes. It's like a little flat disc kind of thing. Um, with like an inner hazelnut toffee type thing going on. I think I've had them. Oh, I'm so I'm so proud of Cat Template for for getting the uh, 
getting the thing today. That's that's cool, man. Ah, shit, a book room. Let's see what we get there. I do have a golden key, which is pretty fucking dope. Okay, I will be back soon. I need to go take care of children who are obviously whining. Um, obviously. Obviously, I will. Uh, I will be back momentarily. Behave, no please, problem. children. Thank you for looking after stream, Miss Creep. It's my job. It's what I do. I will see you in a bit. Synth and lasers. God damn it! I was about to leave. Hi. How are you? I love you. Did you have a wonderful Christmas? What is Mr. that emote? Synth and lasers. Oh, I love it. It's a panda hugging a heart. It's a cute one. He's a little baby. Fuck. Wonderful. All right. I'm leaving to go take care of Loaf, the pterodactyl. I will be back. I love you all. Goodbye. Quiet Storm, what's up? Hey, guess what we won't be taking today? I'll give you, I'll give you one hint. It's a planet. It's tiny. I ain't taking that. No fucking way. Not not this time. Threw away a run because of that. I, I, for a fact, that was the reason we died. Putting your new old-fashioned set you got for Christmas. Old-fashioned glasses? Bogo bombs, huh? Glasses, ice cube molds, and bitters. Very nice. Look up a drink called Lemon Lime and Bitters. It's something that Australia is kind of known for. You walk into any pub and you can get one. Um, it's a really good drink. Very refreshing. Um... Not a lot to it either, very simple. Hmm? Oh, Miss Miss Fartomatic two thousand? It does bring the farts. don't really want to... I should take Book of Rev. I really should, but... Oh, it's temptation. Nah, I should take it. It's going to help with the win. Which means I should probably drop the gift, possibly in a secret room. Since we don't have Curse of the Blind, it might not be a bad idea. And we get uh, two and a half uses of Book of Rev as well. Oh, we have a reroll machine. Shit, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up with our, our damage is decent. It's tears again. 1.9 is really low. That's bullshit. That's not. I deserve that. Alright. Missing no incoming? Hmm. Nope. Nope. With this tier rate, go fuck yourself. Nope. Fine. Um. Shit. That also means, god damn it. 
Um, that means I can't take this with either. Does this put us back on the same floor? C-section? No, I'll go with Sacred Heart. Put you back on the same floor? I'm always curious about that. If it does, that'd be great. Um, anyway, let's use this right now. And I have a charge key up top. Thinking Genesis. Right, okay, fair. All right. Yeah, I gotta go Sacred Heart or something of that, that level. As much as I love C-Section, Without tier rate right, right now, too slow. Now I'm thinking Tiny Planet. Tiny Planet might be decent with C section. Godhead Tiny Planet. Switch Death Certificate with a book and keep rolling. Oh, dang, that was a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. I didn't do that, obviously. Um, Brimstone Tiny Planet. Uh, again, our tier rate fucks it entirely. Um, we can get some, we can get a lot of shit in here actually. Just have to be a little careful walking through here. Should set us up for consumables for the rest of the run too. Fucking tech would be decent. Yeah, t if if we had a higher tier rate, I'd consider Brim. Fucking Wafer is there too. D6 is there. Rainbow babies there. Wow. Flight. There's my item. Let's do a full clear. I've got to be super careful though. Twins. Oh my god. There's a bunch of good items here. Um, Echo Chamber has been nerfed pretty heavily. Vanishing Twin would be okay as long as we have Killing Power. I got it. I gotta do. It's it's too good. Almost picked up Shield to Tears by accident. <laughs> Yeah, if you touch an item, you get teleported out. And I'm only going through to collect shit right now. Because um, in each... Well, not every room, but in most rooms, it has uh, extra stuff we can collect. And it's, it's every item in the game, so this is a very large floor. The ladder... We'd need a shit shitload of money though. Um, we would need a shitload of money. Our key, not necessary. Mega mush.
ladder's something to consider. Rock bottom. Are there secret rooms? I don't think so. Any chance PhD would be worth? I mean, yeah, sure. Um, we would miss out on the initial drop of a pill with PhD because we get teleported straight back out. I mean, PhD is always good, right? But I'm really feeling Sacred Heart right now just because it's such a significant damage up. And homing. And one uh, part way to... Uh, there's Incubus there. Incubus is good. There's so many good items in the game. There's equal number of shit items too. Jacob's ladder is there. Uh, Eucharist is there. I mean, that's that's guaranteed angel room. Every floor. Hmm. Does Eucharist also open an angel room on this floor? It should, right? Mega Blast is good. Zero percent room chance, so no. So it can't appear on the first floor after the fact. You have to teleport there. Got it. Ah, uh, Eucharist is is actually swaying me. Where was that? It's in here, right? Yeah. Oh, you do have time to run around. Okay, so we could have picked up something there. Um, I'm gonna get Bogo Bombs. I don't think we're going to have troubles. Uh, we can also look for the... Super secret as well. Well, that was very fortuitous. Shit, I might as well look for a crawl space while we're here. Fuck it. Eucharist 4 1, that's, um, yeah, that's nice. As long as we don't get too many, uh, XL floors, we'll, we'll end up with a ton of stuff. For free! Uh, I would absolutely take. Wait, where the fuck is it? Super secret. And here, maybe? 
Yeah, had to be. Okay. Aha! Lovely. The ladder would have also been very good too. Um, but money would have been a problem. Like, we find one shop with a decent item in it. It goes 30 cents, right? Proceeds to get three XL floors. I've never had three. Two in a row I've had. Never three. I'm still not willing to get Tiny Planet, though. Bomb the bomb for a free bomb. Bomb the, bomb the bomb for a free bomb? Am I missing something? There's a bomb inside stone. Oh, that doesn't work that way. That's an explosive rock. Yeah, 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 that just explodes. So you, if you've got something that breaks, um, breaks when you walk over it, uh, you got to be real careful of that because that can Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, you can explode stuff just by walking over it if you're not if you're not careful. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Well, I would say this is an outstanding first floor. It doesn't get much better. Okay. Where was that ladder again? I think I will take this now. And that. And that. Yeah. Can't do it. And we have no... Crawl space? No. Negative. Alright, we've got three more plays on... Our machine, and then we'll be out of here. There's a floor one ladder with 99 cents better than a Eucharist at floor one. Uh, well, I mean, it's it, it's entirely up to chance. I don't I don't think Eucharist is worth passing up at any stage, really. If angel items are your goal, that is. Don't make me do this. What was this? Magician. Alright, not being nice. That's cool. Wait, isn't this trinket supposed to fucking heal me? Using a donation... Donation machine. My bad. I blew that up. Okay, well, I don't need that anymore. Actually, I should probably take the, the flight. A chance at getting flight when you clear a room or kill an enemy. I'm not sure. Killing an enemy. Yep. Right. Because we call it a blood donation machine, which I guess technically it is. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Oh. Oh, we ain't done. I don't even know if you can get crawl spaces in the boss room. Nope. Alright, we out.
Yeah, what's what's the rule with crawl spaces? Um, has to appear in a. It always has a chance to appear, but the room type has to be available. I don't know. I'm not sure of the wording specifically, but. That's a lot of bombs. Bookworm, that helps. That helps. That might help. Let's find the boss ASAP. While a floor will always have a crawl space, it may not have a rock placed in such a way that a crawl space can spawn. Interesting. Okay. No complaints. Extra damage. Look at that health though, so wonderful. Uh, you may notice slight design changes on the flies as well that we get from, from our boy here. Um, that's because of a mod, like better flies or something. Plus there's also the other fly mod that I have going on as well. Oh my god. Holy moly. Damage is looking damn good now. You know what? We'll do this. Six room charge. We only get half a heart. Functionality is a little bit better, and we can use it anytime. Yeah, okay. I'll take it instead. easier with you here. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. Very nice. Let's go. <laughs> this is so unreal. <laughs> All 
Alright, well, not the best. I will come back. A reroll room as well. Keep going. Don't be too stingy about it. Mama Megs. Keep it for four, four, four floors. Could use it here. For the memes, I guess. You're only going to give me one, aren't you? Go figure. Unless... Hey! <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Oh, I'm full right now. I might as well still get it. How wonderful. What a time for jumper cables to pay up. Um... I could have used that in a different room. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Starter deck. Is that the one that replaces the fucking... Wait, wait, wait. We've already... No, no, no. We don't need to do this. It replaces all pills with cards. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is kind of ridiculous. And I am here for it. Can't blow up your dono machine twice. Um, we gotta go down. We could re-roll an item here as well. Secret room or book room? Are there two items still in the book room? There are. Health up, speed down. Uh, obviously, we take that. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that. 
You know how hard I worked I get to Do you have you ever have you ever wanted to have you ever Um that's it. I think we're out. One more. I'm out. Yeah, I'm not gonna get uh Lard. So tonight I watched um, the National Anthem and 15 Million Merits on um, uh, for Black Mirror. Really good. I forgot how good that show was. A lot of people didn't like um, National Anthem, and I, I get it. It covers a pretty fucking terrible situation. Um, but it is expertly written, and the behind the scenes stuff that goes on at like the news stations and stuff. Pretty fucking spot on. Duplicate my bombs? Yes, please. Nice of club. Let's use that. Mom's foot again. Reports me to the shop. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Holy fuck. Ha has wildcard been nerfed? Tell me it hasn't. You got stoned with an old friend, showed him that episode, and you aren't friends anymore? Because of that episode? I mean, okay. I mean, I get it. Um, it's it's a disturbing episode. I mean, the the whole series is disturbing, but I, I get it. Um, whether that's worth losing a friendship over or not, not for me to say. But yes, fucking Lazrags, my favorite. Let's get the hell out of here. He got really weird about it. <laughs> weird is the best word to describe that episode. I guess people handle things very differently from person to person. Oh my god, is that the 1%? We did it. We did it, chat. Watch it be fucking Pluto. Ugh. Whoops. Saturnus, very nice for someone with low tiers. That is surprisingly amazing. Hot bombs. I'm 
I'll take a few hits here if necessary. Striking Vipers was an episode that threw you for a loop. Very good one. I, I, I enjoyed all of them. The only one I kind of didn't like was Bandersnatch, but that's mainly because of the format that it was in. Um, if it was shown as kind of a, a non or as a sequential show rather than um, rather than what they did, I'd probably be a lot more into it. How do I know them by title? Because I'm a super fan. I've seen them all like probably three times right through at this stage. My favorite is Crocodile, and it's probably one of the most depressing. That's the one that takes place in, I want to say Iceland or Norway. Uh, real fucking dark. Real dark. Yeah, if, if I got a phone call from Charlie Brooker one day and said, hey, you know what? We got you in mind for... Uh, for an episode, what do you, I, I, he wouldn't even be able to finish the sentence. I'd be like, yep. Let's go. I'll be on the next plane. Which one was that? One about robot dogs because she hates that episode. Again, it's a slightly different format or a different presentation. They show, it, show, they show that one in black and white. Um... And it deals with a slightly more realistic possible future, I guess. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's not, it's definitely not for everyone. It's a heavy show. Heavy. But oh my god, it's just, it's so well written. The Doctor episode, you had to look away. The Doctor episode. Give, give me some more hints there. You laughed at the first episode? <laughs> Again, that's that's one way to handle it. It was a very interesting premise. But if, if you've ever been to the UK, the, the paparazzi and the news media um, is so hyper fixated on celebrities and the on like the goings on in the country like it's it's worse than the states in that regard and it was portrayed perfectly that would have happened not recognize recognizing miley cyrus the doctor made a helmet to make surgery better Oh, black. Okay, got it. Thank you, Jorb. Yep, 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 yep. Black Museum. That that was that that was very much an anthology episode. Um, it closed off. Well, it didn't close off storylines, but it sort of uh, brought to some kind of conclusion. A lot was going on there. A lot with what was going on there, and uh, I I didn't like that one as much for that reason. Because it wasn't, it seemed it seemed like a, a bit of everything episode. But other than that, it was still it was still enjoyable to watch. This run's ridiculous. Yeah, all all of the whole um, uploading your consciousness segments which are is, is an ongoing theme throughout a, a major part of the show um it's scary uh i still think the best one was san junipero which is where the couple meet in sort of a virtual reality type system and um one of them i think is terminally ill and yeah really it, it's a, it's a beautiful episode 
just really well made. It's it's really nice. Um, and that's why when we were playing Echoes of the Eye in Outer Wilds, that's all I could think about because it was that's it was essentially that in video game form. Fifteen million merits took place in a simulation. You think so? I watched that one today. Um, that is a fascinating concept. I'm gonna have to explore that further. That it, yeah, it never occurred to me when watching that 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 might be the case. I felt like I felt like the first series was still trying to find its feet and it was um I don't think like the whole uh, subplots about you know like some of the some of the technologies that uh, emerge I don't think that became apparent later until later on That's fascinating that that's a really cool concept Um like I said, it's really dark. It's not for everyone. I don't recommend it if you are squeamish or even remotely depressed about the ongoings in today's society. Um, I I actually view it as a positive. Like, even though we're going through all the shit we're going through right now, it's still better than what could be. However, that what could be is, uh, that is the scary part. Like, look at the fucking robot dogs, for example. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. We're, we are so close to that. It's scary. I maybe shouldn't have picked that up. That's okay for now. It's pretty. Now good. Um, Red Bull dripping down my face. Just need piercing now? We have it. That is piercing. Uh, do you mean spectral by any chance? Technically we have that, but shots lose their flavor if they pass over rocks. Except if you have spectral. keeps the Turnus alive. Oh. Well, let, let's go find a rock real quick. Um, the fuck just hit me then? Okay. Fire. Oh, right. Of course. It seems to be doing just fine. In fact, it doesn't... There we go. I have utterly sw switched my brain off now. I'm just, I'm too excited about talking Black Mirror. So I'm two, two episodes down, um, but I will be watching the rest. And I'll watch it in, you know, release order. I, I don't care about um, chronology or anything like that. How can you dodge if you can't see shit? You think that's air you're breathing right now? Hm. Oh, that'd be pretty wild. Yeah, the switch from... Uh, talking about that, that first episode, the switch from fascination to disgust is so well done. Um, yeah, heavy.
Heavy stuff, folks. <laughs> Heavy stuff. <laughs> This fucking sick it must be here. No? Uh well then I'm not gonna go looking for it. It's fine. Zoom. Oh, I swallowed the, the trinky. Nice. Shot speed's a little bit high. To bring that down, we would need... Oh god, imagine an Eve's Mascara right now. That'd be fucking ideal. Another library. Wow. Joker, okay, good. Telepathy for dummies, that's that's almost tempting. Uh or bookable easy, maybe. Nah, let's keep our hearts going. Ooh. Oh, it works! Kind of. Yeah? <laughs> Does it keep going like that? Oh, they all get transformed once. I don't... Or a couple of times, maybe. Depending on where they are in the... In the loop. Why are they stuck in the wall like that? What the fuck? It makes it a little bit harder to see, just saying. Come on, one more. Oh, you're a dick. I hate you. Look at the colors, too. It's like not colors we would normally see. I wonder if that's because they're overlapping or what? Yeah, I don't know. Hey Zoe, what's, what's the matter? Brother getting in trouble? Yeah, getting in trouble. Let me get your eyes. You've got something in your eyes. One sec, folks. I'm taking a lot of damage. That is the stuff. 
stars, it said? Sure. Take me there. Isn't that weird? It's only gonna get worse, too. Not enough keys. I want more keys. Please. Goodness me, it's almost impossible to avoid damage at this stage. Now I am actually kind of um, sad we didn't get, uh, uh, what's it called? I'm sad we didn't get uh, uh, shielded here, so that would be freaking dope. Tiny planet along... Yeah, I mean, that's hindsight, isn't it? Yeah, I would... I would take that with this. It's fucking weird, though. Very, very weird. Another stars card. Oh... Waiting on you, fam. There we go. No? Alright. Oh! Alright, let's have a look. Uh. Two stars cards. Stellan Stars card. You bought Isaac? <laughs> Junko, congrats. You, you're gonna love it. Then you too can have La Croix flavored dreams. Wait, no, what's the, what's the the brand that uses these colors it's a it's a beverage drink a beverage drink it's a beverage company that uses colors like this in their ads
Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll play. Audio reactive overlay with wallpaper engine. Right on. This sounds fun. Oh, tech point five. Ah, uh, yeah. If you don't mind. I'll spend 40 cents on that. Let's go. This could be a bad idea, actually. I'm all for it. Pulse worm. Fuck yeah. It's probably a very bad idea. And this is going to be a constant sound, by the way. Apologies in advance. Don't you fucking pick up my lucky you dick. Knew I shouldn't have trusted you. I knew it. Against better judgment and chat would have gone, oh, give him a chance. No. No. No chances. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely take that. Sun card as well. Oof. Okay. I have to. Or a Boris worm. Where'd my other one go? Let's drop this piece of shit before I fuck my entire run. Did I eat it? Where'd my other trinket go? My my fluke worm. Oh well, whatever. Not a big loss. Wow. Yep. Oh my god. What a fucking run. I did eat it. Oh. The only trinket I ate was the fish head. I don't know what happened to it. I have no idea. And a Perthro as well. Stop! Third row all the way on the right. No, 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 that's uh... What's his name? Chad. It's the big guy, right there. Big Chubby, thank you. Not Chad, yeah, you're right. I do love me some mapping. Oh, 
Oh my god. Waiting for... Thank you. Waiting for the shit to stop so I can actually use a bomb without taking damage. Um, what does that give me? Nothing. Probably not worth taking, actually. Neither is that. Let me play this out. Didn't need that. It's fine. Begging and choosing, etc. Jesus fish. Hell yeah. Love this item. Probably won't help us at the moment. Uh, so tonight's game, if you missed it, Children of Morta. Um, I haven't played that in quite a while. I think there might be some updates. Um, I think there was also a character update. I'm not sure if that was main game or the new... Um, the new uh, roguelike one they released. Um, if anyone knows, let me know, and I'll I'll purchase it if it's uh, if it's related to the main game. I should buy it anyway. They deserve the support. And shit, they do, they donate to charity most of their profits anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Haven't played it, Loot? Good to see you, dude, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Let's fly it. Speed and range. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have done that either. Oh well.
Look at that. Flight just saved me from a heart of damage. Some built in this game, dude. They just, they just go. My damage is 7.5 too, that's worth mentioning. Take it down. Congratulations, believers. What a what a Boxing Day miracle. Let's do another run, eh? Error creating prediction. Oh, did it start already? It's good. Yeah, that went through. Look at that. Two. That is a streak. Un unquestionably streak worthy. Mini pizzas? For you. Look at this, you chat. Look at this. Oh, good. fuck. Look at, look at that. I made it. Oh my god. They're perfect. They, I, they still stuck together. I haven't broken them apart. The I cheese is melted together. It's These are homemade, by the way. Um, done in the air oven fryer. And uh, what sauce do you use? This is a family secret recipe, by the way. <laughs> the classico pizza sauce. It's just like pizza sauce. Classico pizza sauce. Couple, of, couple of little cheese. bits of uh, pets, pepperonis. Oh, no, no. There's two layers of pepperoni. Last time you said you wanted extra Two pepperoni. layers of pepperoni. So oh my god. Covered with cheese and then more pepperoni. Is it hot? It's hot. It's hot. Very hot. I've lost Thank you. Yes, we must have utensils to eat. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, babe. Um, you can see my son Murphy now. In the background. He's, he's like, Pizza? Is he out? He's out. The bar is like... Yeah, the black bar is pretty high. The next time I get a, a pack of the grapes, I'm going to fill it up like a little bit. Mm, yeah. That's that's my boy. I love you guys. Have fun. Miss Queeb loves you. Have fun. She'll be back soon, she said. Quote unquote soon, TM. Still on the first run? Oh no, son. Oh no. No, no, no. We smashed the first one. Looking at this one, what do we got? We got socks. We got really, really fucking low damage. Decent ish tears, though. And teleport. All right. Okay. So we're going to take this trinket with us for a long time, but I'm not going to pick it up yet. Oh, God. All right. Damage is a huge problem. Speed is fucking incredible. Socks means that we cannot take damage from creep or... Um, 
More spikes on the ground. That's pretty good. Don't let me forget my trinket, because I will. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty damn good start, Pro except for damage. That's a that's a big problem, but mm, we'll see. Like if I got soy milk right now, that would be a a bad pickup, like objectively bad. We've done it before, and I will not do it again. Remember the trinket. You know, I do the same thing to Miss Queeb. She fucking hates it. She's like, remind me later to get blank. And I'll say, hey, babe. And she'll go, yeah. And I'll go, remember later to get blank. She fucking hates it. Fucking hate. Like, <laughs> there's few things in this world. <laughs> That's one of them. Need the swirly tear things? Swirly tears. I'd be the one that would remind you one second after you went to the next floor. See, Pantonos, that's... This is why, my friend. This is why. I do like the fact that um, almost everyone I met from Hyper's channel is a sarcastic son of a bitch. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it brings me great pride and great joy. Yeah, where's the secret room at, though? I ain't wasting bombs to maybe find it. Interesting. Oh, I started watching... Um, I, I didn't finish it. I fell asleep. Movie on Netflix called uh, Up in the Air, Up in the Sky. Look to the sky. Look up. Don't look up. Leo DiCaprio and uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Is it Jennifer Lawrence? So far, so good, but I fell asleep. So. It it's it's one of those movies that I want to love because it's like it covers like kind of a real world type event. Um, acting's great, I mean, obviously. Uh, but then at the same time, the humor in it, you've got um, the queen herself. Uh, playing the president of the United States, um, uh, Meryl Streep, and 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 it's like it's it's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek look at it. it. I don't know. I don't know. It's the humor that I I'm not a huge fan of, but the science and the threat is what I enjoy. Like, you look at Jonah Hill in Moneyball, perfect, right? Little bit of humor, but it was never, it was never Jonah Hill, right? Versus Jonah Hill in this, and it's kind of, it's a bit on the nose, you know? Now, Big Steven? Yeah, all right, we need it. You watched the new Men in Black the other day. It was not great. Oh, damn. Don't accidentally trigger a bomb. Just going to have a quick quick bite to eat here. Have to separate. Oh, the cheese is like crispy as shit too. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm eating 
pizza with a knife and fork. I don't care what you say. She wasn't kidding. That's two layers of pepperoni right there. Wow. What a woman. Yes, yeah, this is, um, is it Stitches? Is that his name? Wherever he is, if I activate it, it teleports you to him. They, you swap places. Uh, um, the good thing is that you can kind of cheese a few things with that. Big Steven there was, that was cool. That was great. Huge damage up. No secret rooms for me though. Well, one, which we can't actually use. And, in fact, this is one of the ways you can get into... You know the... You know the crawl space with the hidden compartment? Um, you can get into that with this. Oh, Zoe's come back in here. She's like, My brother's getting in trouble. I don't want anything to do with him. He smells... Uh, we had an alright day off, yes. Yeah, nothing exciting happened here. Um, it wasn't necessarily a Christmas celebration. We're both really exhausted from doing the, the stream event, but we had a we had a nice time. And it's always like talking to chat. It's uh, it's really good for us, like mentally, you know. Most of the time, most of the time is good. There's exceptions. Haha. <laughs> okay. When chat's not being buttheads, it, you're talking about very small minority. Um... Does this trinket give us extra cash as well? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, damage is looking decent now. It will not be a problem from here on out, I think. Hold on a minute. His uh, hygrometer fell down because it was on his head. You can see his head sticking out now. Barely. Barely see it there. 
He's like, what's going on? What are you doing? No, it wasn't him that fell down. Mm -mm, no, no, no. It, it just, it, we put it on top of his house. Oh, so Zoe's like, I smell a dog. Um, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all good. We put it on top of his little house and it fell down in front of the door. So he might not have been able to get out. It's fine now. The, the multi-shot eye pickup, I like it. I like it a lot. It's helped me a lot as well, I think. It's funny though, you do hear the snakes, they, they like flop down from if they're like hanging up high or, or whatever. And we don't have them, we don't have anything like too high where they can hurt themselves. But it's still one of those things that you get up and you check it out. What was the item? Glass shard. Eh. Most definitely not worth. You've got an open top cage. He just loves to climb up the wall and then slide down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nows do that as well, yep. in the store. Um, no, Steven's good. Steven's a, a damage up. It's not little Steven we have, although that would be amazing too. Damn, no way to actually use all that, huh? Nope. Curse of Darkness again? Come on, man. It's just annoying at this point. Secrets of wanting to give you hearts. Yeah, it's notorious, right? It's like the one thing you don't want sometimes. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? 
No? Okay. That's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. I didn't even have to take damage coming in here. I didn't even have to use a bomb coming in here. Oh my god. Hilarious. <laughs> Now if we can stack luck, that would be beautiful. Free angel room. Right, so here's the trick. If we are able to not get the angel deal, which I don't really want to lose that much health to ensure that happens, but if we're, let's say, quote unquote, unlucky enough, we'll still stack high on the next level, which is really good so our chance will be uh, our chance will be increased out there out there no not even close That is some long-lasting creep. Oh, I can stand on that, too. My, how we, how quickly we forget, huh? So I really want to find greed in the store. That'd be even better. That'll give us a chance at Steam Sale, and then... Uh, and then we can come back for an actual shop as well. Steam style. I mean, I do, I just don't really want to pay for it. Alright, I'm going to get my trinket. You can use stitches to put out blue fires. What? go can i break rocks with it no 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 no, no. surely not well now i have to test
And blue fires too, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, oh, jeez. So we, we're hoping not for an angel room this time. But we don't have a lot of control over that, so... I have one and a half pizzas to go. something very comforting about even simple home-cooked food like we eat a lot of um, we eat a lot of takeout and we eat, you know not not great food but even even something as simple as a homemade very basic sort of pizza on garlic naan bread it it, it it's warming is that, is that does that make sense? Ah, maybe it's fucking weird. But it, it makes me feel good. Like, not even the taste, which is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's it's a little bit you gotta get used to it going into these rooms. So you have to place the shadow directly in front of the door. And then when you move, you have to move the control, the left thumbstick, or how, how, like whatever keyboard, if you're using keyboard, in the direction you want to go. So you have to switch brain functions. For the longest time, I would shoot because that's what I sort of associated movement with to do with an item, right? It's weird, but yeah, you teleport and then hold. It's super simple. It's a little bit more difficult to line up on the side, but again, it's the shadow that you're looking at, not the, not the little, um, uh, voodoo doll. Heartwarming? Yeah! I, I don't know if that's... I mean... Oh yeah, that sucked. Um, I don't know if that's the term I'm looking for, but... Com comforting, I guess. Yeah, Stitches is pretty good. Stitches is pretty good. It does let you obtain a few extra items that you might not have otherwise been able to do. Um, and on top of that, uh, yeah, you can cheese a few a few areas. Also, if you're getting swamped in one corner of the room and you don't have a lot of HP to tank something like that, just teleport to the opposite side. God, our damage isn't quite there yet, is it, huh?
Restock for seven cents? Boy. Okay. It's giving him heartburn? Well, I mean, heartburn and any tomato-based sauce is, is kind of like, uh... It goes hand in hand, right? I think Miss Queeb said this the other day, but we haven't been to a proper restaurant in. Well, two years now, I guess. And, uh. Alright, that'd, that'd be nice, but we're not. We're also not gonna go without, you know. Everything being back to normal. Whatever that even means anymore. Normal's overrated anyway? Yeah, a little bit. Actually, you know what? We could... Oh, this is... No, okay, it doesn't let you teleport on top of mushrooms. I was going to say. Where the fuck is this sick... Oh, it must be... Come on now. Yeah, Silver, so what I was going to do, I'm still kind of figuring out the details, is um, if you're at all interested, um, so it's you, you King Nesta and um, uh, Cat Template, huge supporters of the channel, and um, I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys, so... I said to Miss Creep today, what if we um, dedicated an emote slot to you guys? Some kind of, like, you guys would have a, I shouldn't have done that. You guys would have a say in, you know, what it is, as long as it was sort of on brand or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I thought what would be even better would be... Uh, You know, like, I don't know if, if King even wants that kind of interaction or, or whatever. I don't know. I just thought, thought we'd be doing something nice for someone um, to show our thanks. Because, yeah, like I said, you guys have been unreal. And, uh, all right, it's very, very easy for us to do. And then, and then I remembered there was, what are they called? Uh, cheer emotes as well? So it's like a different... Yeah, I don't quite understand it. I, I haven't used them. Um, but that might be, be perfect. So like we could do like a little crown for, for King... I don't know. Whatever. I'm just... I'm spitballing here. I told you how much I hate this guy. Don't you fucking destroy those coin things. Ugh. Justice. Justice. I just said that. Um. 
Um. not looking good man damage still isn't there uh, and our health the further we go our health our health is going to get depleted faster and faster so we've got to be somewhat careful here fuck come on the hell? This is a disgusting room. more streamer luck? Yeah, why can't we have that last run back again? That scent though, that scent will go far. Squeeb. I has to. Greed heads are fucking painful when you've got low damage. They can be so lethal. Why am I do this? How are you, my friend? What's going on? Expensive, but you know what? <laughs> I'll take it. Melfina Starwind herself. How are you? Hello. Did you know this, by the way? Check this shit out. Stitches, right? Boom. I didn't fucking know that. How cool is that? Answer, very. Waiting for a callback from the hospital. Might be going to the ER. What's up, dude? You alright? Apparently it works on blue fires too. God 
damn it. Name a worse room. Oh, wait. Actually, I probably could. All right, settle down. Fucking hell. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You know how much I paid for these hearts? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're an open person? No, that's tough. That's fine, dude. Look after yourself. Hopefully it's nothing. Um... I, I hope it goes well. Obviously, I, I want you. I want you around. Uh, can I ask what what the other than the blood? Can I ask what the uh, the is it a pain situation? Scale of 1 to 10, what what was your damage level? The reason I ask that, very similar thing happened to me just before I got a kidney stone. Yeah, like you're going to die kind of pain. Could be. Oh, fuck, it could be... A that's the thing. We always we always focus on what could be when I say I say, yep, just take it easy, relax, wait to hear from a professional, and, uh, and we'll see what's going on. Huh? What's with these room layouts? Like, seriously, Ed, I know you want to throw a few new ones our way, but let's stick to the word few, huh? Couple here, couple there. Every room? Ah, yes, that is Jupiter, because Jupiter is a gas giant. Get it?
Yeah, yeah, we're going. We, we've been, it's been extended to the end of the month. We're going right through to New Year's. Press the blind, too. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you, we bot. <laughs> well, if it's worth saying once, it's worth saying twice, I guess. Oh, I should have teleported onto that final button. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Curse the blind's so fucking risky right now. Very much not ready to go back to work. I think um, I think many people share that. Um, I I personally would love to go back to work. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of I miss I miss the interaction with people. Maybe if it, may, even if it's not back back, you know, like on physically on site or whatever, I'd still. Yeah, I would I would very much like that. People, right? It's so weird. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a homebody. Always have been. And I'm sure I always will be, and I'm an introvert as well. Um, I may not seem like it, but underneath this this stunning veneer you see before you, <laughs> um, it, it lies a very very timid timid person, and um. I don't know. I one thing about I was I've been in customer service a lot and sort of you know dealing with people a lot and that's that's been a, a thing. Uh, what you got there, Miss Quid? I don't have anything. Else. It looks like uh, fruity candy canes nope. to me. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not what it is. Nope, not. Definitely looks it's not. like it's it. Not. Hmm. Okay. I'm just asking. You don't. You have no idea why I'm asking. I've got to do research. <laughs> we bought some. We bought some like different flavors. I guess candy companies or, or a candy company makes. Uh, We got blue raspberry, watermelon, and cherry. Well, there you go. Blue raspberry for Queeb, the rest for Miss Queeb. Unless you like blue raspberry, she, she likes blue raspberry too. No, I'm looking like that because you, you eat almost all of them. Sorry, I repeat, I'm looking like that. No, I ate the ones that I had. They were different, different. So there's like themed candy canes from different, maybe it's the same manufacturer. I don't know. We've got Dum Dums. What were the other ones we've got? Hot tamales? What else? That's Barbies. that's all Queeb. Miss Queeb. Starburst. Starburst ones? Uh, skin. Really? Wow, they've Ranger. they've expanded this year. No, like any kind of candy that you can eat. They have, they have 
What's the ones that I like? The the tangy ones. I just went through the whole lot. I think it's spree. Spree. No, I had some. Uh uh, mm -mm, not different. We definitely had some that I picked we out. We have this conversation every fucking year. Okay. Every okay. year. I'm tired of it, Queen. She's had it. She's done. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. As long as they don't make a popcorn flavor. Um. We we sometimes have uh, caramel popcorn, and I I get something called popcorners, which are little tortilla sh tortilla chip shaped popcorn things, um, and they have a, a candy a, a, a cotton no what um is it cotton candy no what's the sweet popcorn flavor. Kettle, kettle corn. They have a kettle corn flavored popcorner, and and it's it's got like um like a buttery sweet flavor. It's beautiful, beautiful. I think we accidentally bought an old bag from the store the other day, though, so I'm temporarily offline with them until I uh, taste a fresh bag. To the moon. Blood donation machine. We have a blood donation machine. A 10 year old candy cane off the tree is used for decoration. The whole thing bent instead of crushing. Oh, woof. I love watching TikToks where it's um it's like a like a gourmet candy shop where they make it fresh. And it's usually like hard candies and, and stuff. So like they have this hook on the wall and they have this long string of, of sugar. I guess, I guess that's all it is. Um, and they, they sort of loop it around the sugar and they stretch it out to get air into it. And it turns from like clear to white. It's kind of amazing. Very ther therapeutic. Buttered popcorn jelly bellies are the shit. Agreed. I love them. Can you get them by themselves or do they have to come in like the, you know, the packs? Because I'm not a fan of jelly bellies. I especially don't like the, the troll flavors that does nothing for me at all. You can just, you can order them. Oh, okay. Any, look, anything homemade, whether it's leather working, woodworking, metal working, fucking welding, candy. I, I just adore people being creative. Um, any sort of drawing or artwork or music, um, singing, uh, people do beatboxing, incredible, um, people do like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like loop, looping, so they'll do like the low tones in the song and then they'll keep layering on and by the end of it it's just this fucking harmonious eargasm. Um, that is actually what prompted me to watch the James Bond movie 
was the opening song from that, which I think it, I think Billie Eilish did the song, but it was this group of four people doing it, and it was just, just awesome, awesome. Dunka, of course. We have a we have an art D and D channel. It's there for people to show off their their stuff. No, I I love that. It doesn't have to be on on TikTok for me to appreciate it. That's for sure. Sticky Candy Company in Sydney? Never heard of that. No, no. This is this is just a random TikTok. There's there's dozens of of different channels that show off how candy's made and stuff. Of course, not what I need. Have we been to the shop yet? Yes. What was in the shop? I cannot remember. I'm going back. It's a rough run, this one. Like it, it shouldn't be, but it has been. Hmm. Your parents hate Billy, but you know parents? Why? An incredible singer. Yeah, I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head, I guess. Parents and people are gonna hate what they want to hate. People don't like the new Matrix movie. I think it's fucking amazing. I think I explained it the other day too. Like, if I'm if I'm entertained. For a little bit and I can take myself out of my life for a little bit it's it's good it's good media that's what it's there for Should not be lasting this long, man. Fucking hell, damage just sucks. And and what I said about Black Mirror earlier as well, right? Like the fact I watched that as an escape, that tells you a lot about life at the moment. I might actually keep that. <laughs> Stitches has served its purpose. Yo, let's go. Fuck is still alive. Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, Zoe, this is pizza. Would you like a piece? Oh, only if it's okay.
<laughs> it is a Christmas miracle. You can have one in a minute, yes. this right now. Uh, Melfina, I have a question for you if you're still here. Miss Creep. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Melfina. So my question for Melfina is, does Dan have a P.O. box? <laughs> Bit of a prank. Torment. I love you, Torment. How are you? It's in progress. Please tell me when it happens, because Miss Queeb is making a sci-fi um, merch line, and um, I would like to send Dan a hat. To celebrate, uh, you know, the reason he won Pace. Why am I do this? Hello, how are you? I love your name. Every time I see your name, it makes me very happy because I sometimes talk like that to myself. We talk like that to each other, yeah. What? Oh, what this? Yes. What this? Hot. No touch. Hot. Oh, <laughs> I'm in deep shit here. Uh, I love you, Sleep. Hi, how are you? Sleepwalker? Sleep. Sleep, is it okay if I tell people? I know you've you posted about it, but I want to ask your permission first. What? Well, I'm going to wait to get permission. Hi, Junko. Sleep is the third person in chat with COVID right now. Uh, I'm sorry. That's awful. I'm sorry. Way to just bring down the mood with that damn fucking COVID shit. <sighs> I hope you get over it. I hope you are fine long term. I hope it is smooth sailing. Someone was in here earlier. And they had it and they said, honestly, like I'm completely vaxxed up and I have like a slight cough and that's it. So I, I hope that that's what you get because I love you and I want you to be okay. Same. Um, she's double vaxxed as well. Um, there was someone on, I saw a TikTok, this really tall, thin dude. And it said the, the little caption at the bottom said like June of, of 2020. And he was eating a raw onion and joking about it with his roommates. He said, I can't taste or smell anything. And he ate a raw onion and they were laughing. Fast forward to today, he still can't, he's got nothing back a year and a half later. And, um, and he had to stop the video. He was in tears. Melfina said, my husband pointed out that millennial humor is sometimes just misspelled or dumb word arrangement, and it's so true. Look, that's all we need. That's, that's all we want. 
like there's there's so much chaos in the world uh, that just it, 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 that, that, that's all you need sometimes it's just a, a, a couple of fucking misspelled words and that's it I use emojis Almost everything I post online has an emoji in it. I'm 41. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I haven't reached that level yet. Hopefully I never will. Uh, Frostman, I'm so sorry that you're feeling like shit. I hope you get better. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Bo Mo Mokosan? I hate pronouncing shit. I wish you I just a good knew how job. to pick up. Because I, I, I struggle, like... More to the point, you ask to be corrected as well. I do. I think identity is important. And as someone who wishes they had more of an identity like that, like, uh, it, it's very important to me that I, I identify someone as how they would like to be identified. And not just, like, pronouns, but, like... You chose your username for a specific reason, and maybe it's an inside joke, or, you know, sometimes it's like, LOL, X blaze it, 420, X 69. Pretty good username right there. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I, I not even just pronounce it right, but that if, like, for... Frostman, for instance, maybe he doesn't want to be called Frost, maybe he wants to be called 34. And so I want to make sure that I, I take care of people. Very good, Miss Creep. I try to do the same. Um, and I try to remember if, if people do correct me. They'll say, oh, such and such is fine. And, and I'm like, okay, remind me, because I'll probably forget, but thank you. Mace and their wife got boosted last week. They have a wedding to go to in Florida. You need to light prayer candles. You need to uh, do all the good juju that, that you need to do. If it's a prayer, if it's saging yourself, if it's, <laughs> I don't know, like, like I'm, you're going into like a hell mouth and I hope everything is, is good for you. Mr. Dallas, hi, hello, says why spell good when spell bad is funny. And it's all misspelled and I love it. And it just makes me happy. Uh, Sergeant Keen, I saw one of a girl that now all food tastes like garbage. She has, I don't know how to say it, it's par parasmia. I, I only know it because, <laughs> because like now every, every video with that, it has like that hashtag. Like even people who don't even think they have it or, or they, they know something is wrong, but they don't know what it is. They're using that word. Um, yeah, like it's it's sad. She exists on drinking those Ensure vanilla protein oh, drinks. Oh, you've spoken about her before, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and she's she's having to work with a doctor on a food protocol to make sure that she is not losing too much weight. It's 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 so just terrifying. Melvina, thank you for posting in the Discord. I appreciate it. Uh, Bomaku-san says, too many followers of Nurgle lately. That's what caused the COVID start worshipping Zinch instead. I hope I said that right. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Keen, I approved of my username that I came up with. And why am I do this at classic Xbox Live Gamer Tag? <laughs> Elemental, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. Like, I, I pretty much know when someone's addressing me, but like, as far as identity, like, n I've never had one really. Like, names don't don't sound like they're mine. So that's why I, I sometimes generate uh, a lot of usernames. I go through usernames a lot because I'm trying to find one that just works and, and nothing like works. My favorite e abuse of the vernacular is the use of the where it isn't necessary, the Twitter, etc. I like that. And I also like when the is spelled T-E-H. I love it. 
I, I love it. It it makes me so happy. Why am I do this as I've been reduced to a small number of foods that don't fuck with me? Luckily, a lot of them still taste good. Thank God. Um, well, the doubters get this one. 165k go to uh, five people. Damn, that run really stretched on too. Ah! Was that your second run? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be switching over to the game of the day. Give me one sec, folks. Let me get this all prepped. Prepped and ready. I'm going to run a two-minute ad as well. Hi, Sheepy. How are you? Oh, your name is pretty, Amaya. I like that. <laughs> Why am I do this? It's like, oh, game of the day. Fuck yeah. Zoe is, uh, so Loaf is in his kennel for the night. He, he got aggressive tonight and I was like, nope, mm -mm. you gotta learn. Um, yeah, he's like, he's being an asshole. So you're probably hearing random noises in the background. Whenever Loaf is in his kennel, Zoe, Zoe is, is never in the living room with Loaf. We want to make sure that she feels completely comfortable being around him just because she was just so beaten up on by our other dog. So they have separate play areas. So when Loaf is up, Zoe keeps running into the living room, into his area, and she steals all of his treats that he has hidden. She thinks she's so fucking clever. <laughs> and so what she'll do is she'll, she'll like creep in there very slowly and she'll grab it and then she quickly runs away and she hops and skips and she's just very happy that she got it and she brings it in here and drops it and then she goes and grabs another one and loaf is just in his kennel just looking out the door and he's just like soon oh shit okay so the it, it's this is giving us a breakdown on the dlc i'll i'll go and buy it real quick um ancient spirits of yajuj majuj combined into a brand new character with unique skill set designed to play in family trials mode. Skin system add a whole new section to the character select menu to choose special masks for the heroes. Five new divine graces, blood rush, quick, pause, and more. Five new charms, trait of night, might, blood sacrifice, and more. Five new divine relics, call to arms, thundercloud, and more. Some of our backers' sculptures can now be found in the dungeon along with a short backstory and additional bug fixes. Well, I gotta, I gotta get that. Are you gonna let me out? Why am I do this? Um, Loaf does exactly the same thing to her. He's not allowed to have soft toys because he swallows the fabric and the squeakers. And whenever I take Zoe out, she will randomly, I don't think she does it on purpose. I think she's just forgetful. She drops her toy in the front of the house where Loaf walks. And sometimes, for the most part, I can grab them, but there are times where she leaves them and I completely miss them. So he gets it and I have to fucking either wrestle with him or I have to bribe him with food. Insert, he's very food motivated. <laughs> <laughs> which is like that, that that's like that's his middle name um and i have to like ply him with treats to get him to drop the 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 soft toy my dog is surgical in removing a squeaker ripping out the stuffing it's honestly impressive same like he's he had he, he's been able to remove them and i'm like how and and of course he's uh He's now at a point where he's like, uh, I'm going to suck on the squeaker for a bit, but then I'll drop it. And, and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't chance it. I've, 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 I've seen what it looks like covered in shit. I, I don't want to see that. Doing okay, Ms. Recovering from my bout of COVID. How many people in this chat right now have had COVID or are currently having it? That sounds like a lot, huh? That's like, we're up to like seven. 
sheepy, I would be so pissed off. I would be so pissed. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Not yet. Got three shots of the Moderna. I'm hopeful I never get it. Just going to quickly run through, you know, double check to make sure there's nothing else on sale right now that I really want to get. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I've got I to do it. Uh, you ain't got to do shit. That's true. I don't. I think we got pretty much everything the other day. Waiting for a few more price drops, though. This song fucking kicks. Very cool. All right. Kicks. Purchase for myself. Um, only because I have a job on Wednesday that I might have to cancel, but I'll soon. Oh no! Oh my god, are you <laughs> like like? Is that completely out? Like, are you, are you not able to work New Year's Eve now? I probably had it before. Could you imagine just... a manager going, oh, you've got COVID. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just happened to get it before New Year's Eve. Uh, yeah, I can actually. I, I, I can, like, my last several managers would have ac absolutely said something like that. Yep. Or asked to see a doctor's note excusing me from work, which is just... <sighs> it's classist as fuck. Go give your manager a big kiss. <laughs> they can share the joy. <laughs> I got pretty sick. Hi, Heavenly. I got pretty sick, including losing my taste. Thought I had it, but t tested negative. Not sure. I totally trust the test, though. I'm recovering very nicely, and I don't cancel day jobs like ever, so my jobs are thankfully super understanding. Oh, that's so good. Newt Magoot. Hi, Newt. Just learned that soy milk with Azazel sucks. Yep. <laughs> yep. What about, what about tainted Azazel? That might be an exception. I'm going to ask a very odd question to chat. I don't expect to get an answer, but I'm like, I'm confused right now. Are there any people in chat who know how to revitalize an old leather ottoman like the kind where the texture is no longer smooth like it's rough excuse me one moment i am going to run a quick ad i'll be right back do it um i have one i'm looking like i know that there's leather cleaner it it's actual leather it's like an old leather poof um really worn Huh? I, I'm not going to go on TikTok and ask. Um, thank you. Oh it's, oh, it's for Zoe. It's not for me. I understand. I've... Uh, I haven't done anything to it because I'm scared of ruining it. And I'm looking on Pinterest. Like, I know that there's leather cleaners. And I don't have a problem buying one. It's just that it seems like all of them are supposedly the quote unquote best. And then of course on Pinterest, there's tons of people saying, no, 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 like, like here's a homemade one. Like I don't, I don't care about it being homemade. I just want it to not look old. Like it's, it's no longer soft. I don't have to, it doesn't have to look new. Like it, it, I keep it in here. Zoe sits on it. I put my feet on it. Like it's nobody needs to see it. Who cares? But uh, but yeah. If anybody knows, would you let me know? <laughs> like I would think, like some kind of moisturizer would work. The leather is not cracked. Like it's, it just like it's just old. 
Is there a tag on this thing? Let me see. Eh. No, there is not. No, and I mean, there, there's like one little spot on the side where the leather is cracked. Yeah, that's leather. Yeah, and it's just like, it's so just... It probably has to be like five or ten years old and it wasn't really taken care of. I've only had it like a few months. I got it at a at a um, uh, a thrift store for like five bucks. I mean, at the very least, it's, it's a seat for Zoe. Um, so yeah, so in that case, I will look at... Uh, like there's cleaners and conditioners. I'm assuming that I, it would be smart to clean it before I condition it. Right? <gasps> Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for giving Sheepy a uh, a sub. That's super cool of you. Yeah, I totally lucked out. Normally the, uh, the thrift stores around here aren't very good at all. Like, and when I say that, I mean, they get great things and they just like, they are quickly gone. By the way, I hope everyone is enjoying their uh, post-Christmas madness. I hope it is low-key. I hope if you are sick that you are able to feel better, at least partially. How to clean leather furniture stains with natural... I don't want, know if I want to put coconut oil on that thing. I understand it's skin, but come on. My madness is very low-key. <laughs> best best to clean it, use a leather a leather glue. Okay. Uh, why am I do this? It did not feel like Christmas. Um, I didn't cook Christmas dinner at all. Um, I was a little kind of, eh. I didn't really enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, I did make Thanksgiving dinner and it was just like awful. It wasn't very good. Um, granted, I did buy a few of the things pre-made, but like even making the turkey, it just, it didn't taste good. Um, and it's, you know, it, we didn't like have a thing. We didn't have like a meal, like, 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 like we did sit down at the table, but I did all of the work. It was, it was just me who was streaming and it wasn't really like a, you know, it was just like, it just felt very disjointed and like whatever. And so this year, obviously, we're busy doing this. Um, I still have a ham in in the um, in the fridge, so I am actually going to. I think I'm going to like look for a good, like maybe spicy ham recipe to see what I can uh, what I can do with it. He, you think I should try my fermented garlic and honey stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, I'll try it. I mean, it's in there. Um, and I made cornbread. Like, like, I make cornbread dressings, so basically you're making cornbread twice. You make it once, and then you put sautéed vegetables and bacon in it, and then you add another box of, uh, of uh, cornmeal mix, and then basically, like, remake it. So we have that, um, or rather, I, I have made the first step. So like we can do that. I was gonna do homemade mac and cheese. Meh. Loki convinced our universe actually did end in 2012. We're living in some strange alternate universe ever since. Someone on TikTok, because obviously TikTok, she she does a lot of she asks a lot of um conspiracy theory questions to her tarot cards there's like i don't know how to do it but there's a way that you can ask questions to the cards and the cards will give you yes or no answers and then once they give you a, a positive or negative answer then you can like extrapolate more more data and she asked is the moon real and the card said the moon is not real so that thing I've never, it, it's brand new and they were all out of the one that you normally drink. 
they were not only out of the muscle milk, but also out of the, the core milk. <laughs> and everybody was out of root beer. I happened to have three case or three of the, the packs in the back of my car because I, it, it, that's my pantry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing my best. Um, yeah, so she the, she asked the cards if if the moon was real and the moon is fake. And and like everyone in, in the comments were like, I, I, I actually believe that it, it doesn't feel like anything is real. Like this feels so entirely fake. Deranged optician. I haven't made black garlic, but I have had black garlic. And it was like really good. I've actually had it in spaghetti. I've had it on pizza. It's fantastic. Definitely didn't feel like Christmas this year, but I think it's partially because COVID and everything being fluctuating, so many regulations and such. It, it felt like that. It, it also felt like... So our local Target um, ran out of Christmas decorations, ran out of trees, ran out of stockings, like ran out of most things um, for Christmas. The... Uh, the shipments to like local stores we i mean we live in la county we're we're a lot closer to the port than than you know the rest of the country is considering and we still have nothing um see we have we have a fuck ton of eggnog here it's it's so weird it's so bizarre um but yeah like it's a combination of that it's a combination of people being out of work and not being able to afford to go anywhere for the holidays. Um, the COVID shit, the the flights being canceled, and it just, you know. My girlfriend made a spicy, excuse me, a spicy pineapple sauce for a ham. French allure. Uh, I need a recipe. You can't you can't lay that on me and not give me a recipe, honey. Right? Like what? Come on. Might as well have just said you covered it in crack cocaine. I'd be like, what? Haven't drank that much, but you're messing with me, Miss. No, I, I absolutely not. Um, I can give you the TikTok username if you would like. The whole thing was just very. It was weird, but at the same time, it's like, uh, of course. I, Look, it's it's almost 2022. We, we've got people pretending that we're not in a pandemic and and businesses are pretending that they're hiring so they can keep money that they they illegally got from the government. Um, like, I, I absolutely believe it. it. It's so ridiculous. It has to be true. Junko says Children of Morta has been a game I've been eyeing for a while. I'm so excited for this one. It's a great game. I've got to relearn everything. It's been so long since I played. Um, what was I saving for? I, I normally save for shit like... Um, like income. Earning income and stuff like that. It's definitely uh, worthwhile doing. I think I'll just go into normal attack stuff. Now, can I use my controller as well? Is that a thing? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I need to change some settings there. The last time we played, I think we did the first area, which I hadn't done before. The controller should be working here. Give me one sec. I'm going to quickly exit out again. See if I need to change the settings on... Properties... Controller... Use default settings. Use... Default... Disable Steam input. Let's try that. Eggnog is just milk and cream. No wonder it does things to me. Milk, cream, eggs, brandy, rum, nutmeg, cinnamon, maple syrup. Like, like, 
Like that 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 that's it. Like that's it. Yes, I'm on Pinterest looking up eggnog recipes for sheepy. No doubt. Homemade old fashioned eggnog. Berries of cream, berries of cream. Up the octave. Milk, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, egg yolks, sugar, heavy cream, vanilla, extract, spiced rum, bourbon works too, but both are optional. No, Melfina, I'm in the same boat with you. I don't, I don't drink it. Um, the smell, it's, I'm, I'm very funny with, with smells and stuff, and it's like not my thing. But Queeb uh, loves it. Uh, yeah, I gotta do it in moderation. But yes, I do. I do enjoy it a lot. Homemade eggnog, egg yolks, sugar, milk, cinnamon, vanilla extract, heavy whipping cream. Okay. So it looks like it's it's makeable. It's not even something I can play around with because I've I've never actually had it. So I I wouldn't know what to aim for. I have a recipe on TikTok that I want to make, but I'm hesitant to make it because only really myself and my dad would drink. Make it! Make it! It's almost 2022. The world is in. Make it. It's just watered down custard, so you're not missing out on much. Largess, how are you? You do have a container. It's called your belly. Like you got it. Like, like I have one too. Come on now. Eggnog ice cream. What? Oh, that sounds good. It's it's like um. You know the chai you get from uh, like Starbucks. It's not it's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but it's um. I don't know. It's 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 just a nice flavor. That's right. We get pets. We need to feed some shit too. Family's luck plus fifteen percent. Right. We have a doggo. Hoping it's not ending. Second kid on the way ain't looking good. But if he pulls through, that would suck for him. Not having eggnog or the moon not being real. The conversation has gone all over the place. You need to specify just a little bit. John did not look up. Okay, there well, please don't do that. The possibility of having to look his wife in the eye. How could he tell her so terrible a truth? Uh, in World of Walk Warcraft, I had snakes. What the truth was. Only that something they're very, they're very nice. Heavy was weighing down. I forget where I bought them. Spirit. And Mary, oblivious, like pets, daydreaming uh -huh. about the child. She and you can also, um, like, so they have vanity pets, and then you can actually, um, hunters can tame them, like the regular ones. You don't have to have, um, you don't have to go into beast mastery. I don't think. Maybe for like the the more hardcore ones. Okay, so I think oh. I think this is the first zone here. Let's have a look. No, this is the new one that we haven't done yet. So this is the regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Oh, let's go back into here. We'll we'll do a little bit more. Select dungeon. Now you Stand. select a family member. Santesh, the snake vendor in Orgrimmar. Okay, where in Orgrimmar? It, it's not like I'm playing anytime soon. I would just like to know. Oh, outside the west gate. Okay, cool. You finished all the content in Into the Pit. Took you 18 and a half hours to 100% it. No shit. That is a short game. A mid-ranged warrior. She can take out multiple enemies at once while preferring to keep them at a safe dif distance. Uses energy to perform magic glyph. Primary attacks fill her energy. Newt, you can't think about that stuff. I mean, yes, think about it in ways that you can help, but you can't, you can't focus on the bad. Because then you're just paralyzed with fear and your kids are watching you being paralyzed with fear and then they're going to grow up being paralyzed with fear and they're going to go through the same cycle. You can't do that.
So how would you explain this game? It's kind of like a, well, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler, but this one's the main adventure mode. Um, and there's, there's a ton of stuff to unlock. It's more of a rogue light, lots of meta progression. Um, you collect little orbs and the orbs let you open these things. Some have like upgrades in it. Yeah, there's a, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go, but it's been a, a long time since, uh, since I played. We have temporary increased luck, much like a Diablo 2 shrine. They do a bunch of different stuffs. Stuffs. Um, all of the passive upgrades that we get carry over to each family member, and when you reach a certain level with each family member, those upgrades also trans transmit to. Uh, okay, so we just gained a skill point. Where do I? Do that. Here we go. So we can choose, uh, as for Thunderclap, Apan focuses the energy around her and releases it at enemies to push back, slow and damage them. Or as for Pulse, uh, Apan evades with such a force that enemies around her are slowed. This character, I think, is pretty new, I think. Anyway, you get four. You spend four points and then you can unlock up here. Um, or maybe this is level. We'll reach level four and then we can unlock some of these. And these ones on the left. So, for example, here we go. Healing touch, right? Wait, is this the one? Where's the family one? Is it a top tier? Get, you get it for free. When you reach level 4, you get, like, the one on the left here. Anyway, there's passive upgrades that you can share, or that automatically share with the rest of the family. Anyway, we're going to take this one here. Sounds decent. Hey, if you're still here, thank you so much for um, hanging out and listening and lurking, and hopefully we'll see you later. Um, Bo... We know we know exactly what 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 goes on with that. We uh, I, I'm shocked it hasn't happened yet. Knock on everything wood. Hopefully it comes back. I have a random question. I'm not asking for spoilers. Please don't spoil me at all. For those that have seen the new Spider-Man movie and have seen the new. Doctor Strange trailer. Is the trailer going to spoil me for the movie? I've heard that's a yes. I haven't watched like, it I'm, myself. I'm assuming it's yes. So I have not watched it. But I need to know where the line is drawn. Well, it's drawn in the sand, Miss Creep. The line is drawn here. This is, the animation is really great in this game. What was the other game by these guys? It's 11-bit studios. We, we either played or talked about very recently. I don't remember. Mr. Dallas, thank you. You said it was 11-bit? 11 11-bit 11 studios, yeah. Oh! I've already uh, looked them up. Please hold. It's the dungeon, uh, the dungeon crawling one. The shop one? Moonlighter? That's it, yeah. Because I saw that and I instantly thought of this. I think somebody recommended that or, or suggested that mm -hmm. as a hint the other day. Or as a as a, a guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a couple days ago. Venomous swing. Primary attacks poison enemies damaging... Oh, oh, fuck yeah. These are temporary. Based on the number of swings, I believe. Pretty certain. Requires a gemstone. Now, do we use that gemstone or do we save the gemstone? That's a question. Have a thunderclap. I haven't used that yet. I'll save the skill points.
Oh, that's right. That's right. We also have a meter down the bottom. A stamina meter. Oh, I should be using that a lot more often. That's stuck. Uh, Mr. Dallas, normally I would agree. However, uh, Doctor Strange is my second favorite Marvel movie behind Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Of course. Um, and Doctor Strange is my, he's my boy. He's my guy. He's my ride or die. And I want to watch it so bad, but I don't want to get spoiled. I don't think that's too much to ask for, of anybody. Thank you, friends. Yeah. Those are, those are my top two. If I had to pick an, a, 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 a third. Yeah. I got to I got to go with the, the first Iron Man. I got to. Yeah, that, that's my top three. Uh, Doctor Strange, I've actually watched that r on repeat. And then I discovered Ragnarok and it's just. It's a, it, it's a it, fun it, it, movie. It, it's. It's perfect. And it absolutely made me forget how just bleh, the second one made me feel. Trailers give so much way, and I feel overhype. Ooh, first Iron Man is also on mine. Hard to pick a solid order, but all three of those would definitely be in my top five. Yes! I have good taste! Yes. I think I like the Infinity War the best. Uh, wait, was that the first? What was the last one called? Mm -hmm. Endgame. Endgame. Yeah, I liked Infinity War. See, like, I've recently... I've I've been going back through and I said this yesterday I've been watching them in uh so in a uh consecutive order just to uh mm -hmm. make sure that I I don't know like not in release order I want to watch them in like the quote correct order Let me see hold on where is it I haven't watched... I watched some of Phase 4. Uh... Are you talking about phases now? Wow, you are deep. No, I'm I'm on the Disney Plus page. Thank God they break it down so I actually, like, I, I can visually see what the phases are. Um, Captain America is probably in my top five, as is the the first Avengers movie. That was really good. Guardians of the Galaxy is in my top 10. That's pretty good. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Like the rest of it, just... Bleh. I'm just not into it. I did like the What If series. That was fantastic. But I've only watched it once. I, I probably will absolutely watch it again. Same with Loki. Um... And I haven't seen uh, Shang-Chi or Hawkeye yet. Divine Before MC, I read Civil War. It made me absolutely hate Iron Man. If the next Thor follows the storyline in the comics, it's going to be amazing. I'm so happy for it. Like, I cannot wait. I'm so... It, it's... I, I don't I'm not a, I'm not a red carpet girl I'm not a celebrity girl I don't care but I would love to be able to see that like see like go to the premiere of that one it, it like like I think it's gonna be like pretty fucking great Guardians 1 is my fave Guardians 1 used to be my fave until I until I, I saw Ragnarok. I'm telling you, like, it's just so good. The humor is just, like, on point. And uh, the bits in Endgame dealing with Thor and, and his uh, his depression. Hmm. And Meek and Korg are also along for the ride. Like, like, that's my favorite part of the movie. Like, for me, that saved the movie. 
All the Iron Mans are in my top five. My first point of disagreement, not a big fan of the first Captain America. I think I like it because it's different. If... I forgot the fucking name of it. Captain Marvel. Wow. If Captain Marvel didn't have the music save its ass, like, or try to save its ass so many times, I would say Captain Marvel is in my top 10, if not top she five. Flaunted her wings, Just because it's like, be chased. they're two sides of the same coin, like, like, there's a meme that says Captain America stands up because that's what's right, and he's, you know, he's like good and, and righteous and whatnot. Captain Marvel stands back up because fuck you. And it's like, it's Elijah so dead on, and hurt. it's just like, I hate that it's not that good. I hate it. But it did make me appreciate Captain America that much more. I love WandaVision. Um, it, I, but I didn't enjoy it on a surface level. I had to actually look at a lot of uh, Easter egg stuff to see what was going on, like with all the mini commercials and, and actually get references. And now knowing that I'm like, oh, it's great. But on the surface, I didn't understand. Black Widow, um, I've only seen it once, but I really liked it. To be honest, I, I forgot about it. <laughs> Sorry, I, for I forgot about it. Shang-Chi is fun. Ragnarok is an easy number one. If you look at the first cap, more like an Indiana Jones type. Yeah, yeah I think that's why I like it, because it, it, it's... It's different. Uh, same thing with Captain Marvel. Like it, it's a different premise. It's a different setup. Um, yeah. Like normally, I, I wouldn't be into that, but I, I think Captain Marvel made me appreciate it. We talked about this yesterday. I I liked Falcon and Winter Soldier, but I think it was too long. There was a lot of dead time. They should have added at least another story arc in there, or they should have just made shorter episodes. Like, I know in in the UK, like, a, a very short season, like, that's what they do, like, six to eight episodes max. And over here, it's, like, just at least twice as many. We don't... We don't need that, but even still, how many episodes was Falcon? It was... It was only six episodes, and still it... Like, like it, they're, they're missing something. Like, they could have gone longer with a couple of different storylines, and I won't give it away, because it actually is really good. Got edited to death due to current events. Really? Did it? It wasn't bad. Black Widow wasn't bad. Like it was, it's a good action movie, and it 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 does make you reminisce, especially towards the end. Like TikTok has taken the ending, and they've kind of like they added a song to it, and and like I just tear up whenever I hear it. Like oh my god. Um. But uh. No, it, it, it seems, to me, it doesn't seem like a Marvel slash Avenger movie. It feels like an action movie. Like, do you remember, like, like it, back in the day when, when Incredible Hulk came out? It was like, oh, that's cool. It's, it, it, it's a movie about some random guy. And then Iron Man came out. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's about some random guy. And yeah, there was a cameo by Tony Stark in that. But I think that was just in a, an in credit scene. I don't think it was actually in the actual movie itself. And I, I think of Black Widow like that. Like, before everything, even though it, it takes place, like, like there's a very specific point where it does take place. They'd already shot it all before COVID, so they had to kind of chop it. 
and it is so it is coming back right like it is coming back as captain america and the winter soldier no Uh, it's probably phase four. A fourth Captain America film is in development. It's a gemstone. As a continuation. I'm not ignoring you. I'm I'm looking for an answer. Uh, meanwhile, getting back to the game at hand. Um, How's it going? It's complicated. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of new stuff as well. Um, have a shield. Gain shield for... So there's there's upgrades temporary upgrades you can get for each of your primary move sets and then you've got things you can drop and then active buffs as well that you pick up each run uh, i don't know if you noticed that before but what i was talking about so in this this here um our, my vast knowledge in healing and restorative properties increases the Bergson's potency of health globes. So from now on, the entire game, every other character will have better health stuff. So the more you level up each each character, the stronger everybody gets. Um, and we're in a, a pretty easy... This is kind of like a bonus zone. So don't pay too much attention to what we're doing right now. Like, I raced through to get the... Um, to complete this challenge, and now I'm just going back to get XP. Ring of Ambition Charm shit. I'm gonna take this fucker out. I haven't seen a lot of the DC movies. I don't think. I'm sure I have though. There, there, uh, there's not as many. <laughs> um. Oh, there's an order. Okay. Sorry. Uh. I didn't know Red was part of the DC universe. Really? I saw that in the theater. Holy shit. Okay. Um, first Wonder Woman, amazing. Flawless. Mwah. Beautiful. The first Suicide Squad, we won't talk about it. Um, is that... Oh, that is the Henry Cavill Superman. Oh, it's not bad. Found an item, common animal treat. Right, so we can now upgrade the animals that give us passive buffs as well. Hmm. It's not a complete list. I had a lot of disappointment for the first Suicide Squad movie. Queeb likes to tease because of how disappointed I was. No, I don't. Mm -mm. No, I know what I know what that movie means to you. Jonah Hex is part of the DC universe. Do I do I just not understand what qualifies as DC? Constantine is in the DC universe. 
What the fuck? Divine Relic. Divine Grace. Every 10 combo counter kills causes an explosion around you, dealing damage to enemies. So Divine Graces are passive upgrades for the run. Rune Mender. No. Take the explosion thing. Sounds pretty cool. Can I afford it? Three. Yeah, we can. I'm just going to smash up all their pots. They won't mind. I need the money more than they do. This is a cool character. Controls very well with controller. That's that's one thing I found. Like Some of the characters do not um, function as well with controller. And that's probably why it wasn't set, set up. Yeah, that works. Okay. to keep the combo meter going and I think you can do that just by hitting enemies but that meter runs out very very fast wow that fucking owns that's it that's all we got Obelisks are... Right, so that gemstone... Is... That's kind of... Um, higher tier currency. You got the coins, which is your meta currency, I think. And then you got gems gemstones, which work per run. Do we have a boss to fight, like right now? Maybe, huh? Maybe. How's our health? Not the most amazing. There's nothing more annoying than going to see a movie that you really want to see, but needing to go to the toilet as well. Some chests open for free, some require the gemstones. There's puffers. You're gonna heal me. All eight eyes studied the one so willing. Jay Safan, can you please fill me in on the Queeb vent? I could. Um, exclamation mark Queeb went, we'll probably do a better job. Oh boy, yeah. I remember this guy. Does a dive bomb on your head and then... Runs away. That was a really lucky time there. Beep? Hmm? Can you uh, mute really fast, please? Mm hmm.
Yeah, this is... This was... It's, with some characters, it's not tough. This is quite tough. And that drop is crushing. See if I can hang on. So close. That was lucky. Achievement unlocked. It runs in the family. So that was dungeon cleared. So there's three dungeons in the first section. I've, I think I've done all three. Maybe. Um, we got a comment. Animal treat, we got 1,854 more. If more of is your, your meta currency, and that's how you unlock more stuff. You, you I guess, sacrifice gold to something, I don't know, whatever. Um, let's see what happens now. Does that take us back home? Mary had already started studying Margaret's books of potion making and recipes before the disaster had struck. She worked through them cautiously and patiently. After all, someone had to follow in Grandma's footsteps and help the family in their efforts. I do love that dancing baby. It's criminal how much I love it. Look at him. He's just dancing. Oh, so you select one dungeon to go on. The family trials game mode unlocked. You can select it from the title screen. I already could. I got early access to that. <laughs> that was a free update recently. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Look at all the dancing babies in chat. Oh my god. Oh, we got him. Yes. Oh my god. I just love seeing emotes. Like, like when, when everybody posts emotes, like it, it genuinely makes me happy. I know, I'm weird. That's that's the one right there. So hoarder is the one I was stacking up because it's income. Um, it, it, more passive money equals more upgrades later. Um, the next upgrade is six point two thousand. We have two thousand right now, so we could go from like more strength and shit, which is probably a good idea. Um, and these are all passive upgrades as well. So the the more you get, the better. There's some we haven't even uh, gained access to yet. Dodge chance. Oh, that sounds good. 850, it's a bargain. Precision and dodge chance. That last emote is fantastic. Rescue? But oh, that's amazing. I, lo I love that. Like, that's just, it's so nonsensical. I love it. Thank you for, for bringing that into my life. Half of the content and half of the use of Dancing Baby. <laughs> I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's the reason it's there. It's, I, I knew it would be popular. Perfect. Like, who made that? It, I, to be honest, I, it came from the, my artist. I don't know if he designed it or if he just took it straight from the, the mod. I don't know. I would hope the the former, but I hope there are people like like I hope our people go to other streams and I hope that they use that dancing baby and people see dancing baby and they're like, oh my god, that looks legit. We have to go sub to Queeb and then they sub to Queeb just for the dancing. I don't baby. know about the sub part, but people do use it outside of the channel. In fact, I can tell you exactly how many times it's been used outside of the channel in the last thirty days. Really. Mm -hmm.
Uh, wrong button. Outside of channel. 69 users have used it a total of 1,370 times. Yeah, for real, real. Holy shit! <laughs> That's amazing. Why am I do this? Uh, I'm I'm glad there's no PR time. I love I that show. Uh. DT, my love. How are you? So, D is the is the fish boat pulled into harbor? I mean, I didn't I didn't see an official uh, uh, call, but apparently it, it, sounds, it is. It sounds like it's our, our our boat has come in, Miss Queen. <laughs> yeah. Dre Perrin, Binding of Isaac, Isaac. Yes. This fish is boated. <laughs> it's so stupid. I the look it. on Fish's face last night was priceless. The shaking, like I, I wanted. You to were give legit him a hug. shaking, dude. Yeah. I wanted to give you a hug, DT. I love you. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Wholesome as fuck. Very cool to see. Wait, I got a couple of skill points to spend here. Why am I saving for? might iron will when low on health joey's will to survive motivates him even more see I, I wonder if some of these are passive what am i going for here what's that max level reached vengeance receiving damage provokes joey significantly increasing the damage of his next primary attack sounds good guardian's rage I, I so much prefer passive upgrades in games. I always have. That one's linked to Rage Globe. Consuming health also feels rage. Okay, we'll spend a point there. And a point in fucking whatever that is. Joey uses Frenzy to perform Whirlwind. Primary attacks fill Frenzy. Whirlwind is left button. Okay. I can get behind that. Oh, that's right. He's slow as shit. But it hits like a truck. Alright. Yeah, somebody gifted uh, 20 subs last night. To, to uh, DT Fish and <laughs> um, he's got the he's still got the individual alerts turned on for each gifted sub there's a way to disable that I can't remember how I did it um, it was cute because it kept going on but not only that it was like this horse <laughs> it would sprint across the screen it was hilarious oh my god there was a horse you, oh, you missed it. You had the no, you had the stream pulled up. I, I I don't think I was in here. I I was just captivated by all of the Skeletors. Oh, what was the what what did that say? I thought it said oh. like welcome noob. I don't remember what what Skeletor said, but Skeletor did say something. What is what is your your Skeletor action? What does he say, DT? And it, like it, and and thankfully he left like the the sound in because Skeletor has such an amazing voice. Oh no, snakes! <laughs> I want to kiss him. Well, I smashed him. It does not say that. Are you kidding? What does it say? Come in, you royal boob. <laughs> He absolutely said that. Speaking of royal boobs, I need to go check on Huxley. My child, who's calling me. Not a very impactful sound. Like, the swing is fine. 
you hear the the whoosh but i would i would want to hear something like when it splats each enemy you know yeah i'm, I'm a man of very simple pleasures hey bud hey do you want to come out papa hello yes hi were you napping do you want to go see dad yeah Hi. No, it's his mom. Next primary attack is a damage up. The charge that we do here, you, it, it's very effective. I can't remember. I think maybe I had a, a run or a build based on that at one stage. It's really good. Okay, get out of the fucking purple stuff, because that's bad. You're bad and you should feel bad. Don't die, though. Oh. Sad. The Bergsons have fallen in the City of Thieves, one of two. I wish that their mother was alive. They said no, but maybe was later. Okay. Ben we'll tell him thanks. John. The younger Dad son said thank you. Chat staff. loves you very much. Your the chat's favorite. Just ignore all the fate emotes. From. Just ignore them. His mind wondering about the truth of the horrific secret that their mother had left for them in her final letter. We don't die, die. This is just story, I think. No, we don't want to go there. We want to go over this side. I love Teddy's emote. I love Huxley's emote. I love the original Faye emote, but I'm sorry. But Rave Faye or Disco Faye or whatever we're calling her, it, 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 it holds a very specific place in my heart. I wish that, that the color were faster. But I, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. That one... Um... That's an order, like, that was one of the default Twitch, um, like, you can upload an image and it'll just cycle through colors. I didn't animate that one myself. I'm not, I'm not really well versed in that. They exhaled softly, a blessing. From the gods. Continuously emit a beam to your position. That sounds fun. I forgot how fragile she was. Here's how cool chat is. I say that I love a very particular emote. And immediately four people spam that emote. Mm -hmm. I love you all very much. I really do. And why am I do this party fay four? That's good. That's good. That's good. Alex, thank you. Bo, I will accept that one as number two. No, oh my God, all the fays. I love them so much. Like, especially that emote. Like, that's her. That's Faye. I mean, I guess it's, it's also Ripley, too. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> I had to, uh... I had to take her out of her enclosure to move it, and I, uh... Basically, I took her out, I put her in a different enclosure, took everything out of hers, cleaned it, moved it, refilled it and then put her back in it so i i had to hold her twice she's got some girth like she's got some girth no it's perfect i love it <laughs> 
what is the what is that a what is that dance is that a dancing Pepe? Mm-hmm. What? Oh my god, it's perfect. All of it's perfect. I love the Fey Pyramid. All of you. All of you are just like you're in my cool book. You very much want to keep distance with this character. Not many hit points or not not very um, strong armor. Alright, don't stand next to something explosive when you are explosive, right? Probably, probably a good hint. Bo, you absolutely are cool. Like four people in this chat got that joke. It doesn't mean you're uncool, it just means that your humor is very niche. And we appreciate it here. Has a rather weird look to it, that beam. Always been a fan of Ranger style classes. Uh, and I also don't know if you noticed that as well earlier, if you reuse the same characters over and over again, they get uh, fatigue, which reduces their max hit points. And this is this character without any fatigue at all now. Oh, we do have a level? Harmonic Slam. Strike, an, strike a dominating note, stunning all enemies nearby. That's our third uh, ability. That also unlocks tier four. Linda appears to perform her harmonic slam and stun any enemies when a family member receives heavy damage. Three minute cooldown. So if a family member, anyone, I assume, receives heavy damage, that effect, whatever harmonic slam is, will happen. Possibly. I don't even think that Linda has to be... Oh, I mean, it's effective. Keen eye for rent. Oh my god. Yes, yes, you do. He back. down on that wonder. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, we missed a, a gifted sub earlier, Miss Queen. 
Sheepish Amaya got gifted uh, an anonymous gift sub. Here, I announced it. Oh, you did? I missed it. Yeah, you did. I didn't. All right. Traps. Yep. So these things spawn at the same time. That is pretty damn good. What that? What that? Yeah, that's really good. It was like a 20 second cooldown ish. I'm finding a lot less passive upgrades than I normally do. That's interesting. You can get like triple One shots and shit. Held a gift. Two hid ferocious creatures. It was the lady or the tiger or the Bergson. Middle. Yes. Yeah, I had a, a triple shot once before. Divine relic. The next two received hits are ignored. Oh nice. A rare animal treat. Oh, that's it? Okay, so maybe the pool has been diluted because they've added so many more item types to the game. This cafe trips out on mobile if there are a bunch on the screen. Short video on Discord. That's weird. Because, what uh, are you? Ah, you're on Android. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. iOS users don't get, um, don't even get animated emotes. We get, we get the words or, or a still picture. guy he can stay there it's fine um i think we're done here yeah that very small map mm, miss queeb i am exhausted how about you born exhausted Oh, that's got a range on it too. Oh, huh? shit. Okay, this is quite bad. Very, 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 very bad. Oh, what's the matter, fellas? Oh, you did? Oh, shame. Come on closer. Yeah. 
cheese is very strong. You can get piercing shots as well. That's really good. Um, but piercing triplicate shots are kind of amazing. Not sure about homing. Like it auto targets anyway. Knockback on primary attack. That's dope. Rude? These snakes are very dangerous. I wonder if this is intended. There's no way they couldn't have found that through proper game game testing, right? No way. Couldn't have not found it, I mean. Wood and metal were strewn about. One body was present, one missing. Did I update the game of the day on the thing, by the way? I probably did. Typical queeb. No, I didn't. 26. I even downloaded a picture just for that occasion. Insert image. Browse. There you are. Look at that. Updated. An error occurred. Okay, maybe... Maybe not. Do you know why? Because I, I know why. Yeah. Who we got? Who we got, Miss Queep? The best one. He's up here. He's gonna wrap my hand, yeah. I'm so hungry. Wrigley one today, huh? That's his middle name. How did you know? Yeah, I see your name. He's looking like a big tasty rat back there. He would happily go down, go down my shirt. He goes down my shirt. Hi, I have a particular bra, like a, like one that's more, I guess, shelf-like and has like underwire and he has discovered it. And so whenever he gets the opportunity, he'll try to go down my shirt. And if, especially if I'm wearing a sweatshirt, he'll like just rest there. And he's, he's so happy. His face, he's perfect. Maximus Maximus Decimus Meridius. Look at him. Oh, he's perfect. Oh my god, he's so perfect. Look at that booty. He do got a booty. He do. He do got a booty. <laughs> well, both. Milfina is correct. They are, like he's 
the Faye doesn't really care. <laughs> Faye doesn't really care. Um, Teddy, Teddy didn't really care. But Huxley, like, Huxley's a ladies' man. Dad, where's the fucking rat? Radvin's not over yet, Dad. They're still a week. Where's my rat, Dad? The snake just. Li <laughs> Hi, Doomy. No, he's uh, he's a year and a half old. He's like very socialized. Um, yeah, like he's he's good to go. Some of the other ones were kind of questionable, but Huxley's good. He's very thick. There are, um, they're kind of, so any of, I know this is true for rattlesnakes. I know it's true for baby cobras. I don't know about any other venomous snake. The babies, they don't know how to regulate the amount of venom that they produce. So they, if they get angry, they'll just spit venom everywhere. It's the same with baby rattlesnakes. Um, so as a result, not a lot of people have them. I know, right? <laughs> um, so not a lot of people have them. They 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 acquire the older ones out and about. But yeah, they do have them. You can't. They're they're not handleable like this. I'm sure there's like a couple of outliers, but generally, no. I handsome boy. He's so handsome. He's exceptionally bright and dark right now, which means he is potentially going into shed. Look at his heart. You can see his heart. His little heart birthmark. It's okay, Zoe. He's fine. Dad, are there any rats back here? He's just... Look at this tail right here. He, you can't, you can kind of see it. He has a white dot near the end of his tail, and so does his dad. I think I need to, yeah, I need to update uh, Archie's name. We, I think I'm going to call him Archie, I think. I mean,. But it's the same thing with Faye and with Teddy. Like, like a name didn't stick until a name stuck. Uh, Loaf does not know the snakes exist. He's in a different part of the house. Um, homeboy needs to learn how to control himself around a couch. I don't think he's going to be able to control himself around a snake. Zoe likes looking at the snakes. Uh, her and Teddy were especially close. Like she would like give him kisses and she was fine with him. But that was a special case because Teddy didn't really recognize danger. Um, she likes to watch Huxley like a lot. And whenever he gets like, I don't know about Kui, but whenever he's around my neck and I'm around Zoe, Zoe will just go like, like you can tell she, she just. Wants to make sure you're yeah, she, she's making sure I'm fine. Um, the one she can see the best is Faye, which is funny because Faye can't ver see very well at all. Uh, but yeah, so she's okay with them. She has never... I think she's licked Faye's booty once, maybe twice, but that's it. Um, and she hasn't really seen the babies yet. Just because they're so small, um, I want to make sure that the babies are at least old enough to protect themselves and, and get away if something happens. Do the snakes have a special saddle to ride the dogs into battle? <laughs> no, but I know what to add to my wish list. Thank you. Oh no, giant snake and Morta. Durant, hi. JSC fan. That, that, uh, that's another fear I have. I don't think it's one I'm gonna try to conquer. Because it, it's still like a huge trigger for me. But to be fair, these guys were a huge trigger. Hey. Look at your face. Hey. Do you want to come back to your mom? Want come back to your mama? Yes. Uh, 
Uh, no? No? <laughs> you doing okay? He's... He's around 1,200 grams. No, he's lost weight. He used to be over 13. You're right. I love you. Please sleep good. All right, he's going. I love you guys. I will, uh, I'll be back in chat. Give me a minute. Thank you, folks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've hit a wall myself. Like, God damn. We'll do a few more runs here. I don't know if I can keep going all night like I have been. Gotta, gotta get some more rest for, uh, so that's the problem. I've started to not sleep very well again. Much like I, um, much like I did previously. And then I sort of fixed that, but now it's back. You're going to Silver Dollar City tomorrow? What is Silver Dollar City? Branson, right? It's the, yeah, it's the amusement park in Missouri, right? Our pot's not worth destroying. I shot them all the time when I played. Uh, it, it's much like Poops and Isaac. One in 20 will probably have something in it. Uh, these, you can't shoot. I don't want to spend my, my gemstones on there. I'm waiting for a shot. I still don't know what the the pots of flame are. Like, what does that shit do? I'm very jealous that JSC is going to Silver Dollar City. Of course, I'm just jealous that anybody's going anywhere. Although, like, I know I could. I just don't want to. I just, I want to go to Disney. <gasps> Ray! Ray, it's cookies. Did you know? I, I didn't, Ray. Thank you what for the raid. We we need we need specifics. That's what a really good cookie? question. We haven't asked that of Ray before. Like, like cookies or like special cookies. Hi, come on in. Spe cookies. Special cookies, yes. Special. Uh oh, 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 there's there's two answers. I'll take both answers. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the raid. It's much appreciated. Uh, welcome to day 26 of the Queeb Vent Calendar Spectacular. Uh, where uh, Ms. Queeb, whose other disembodied voice you can hear on the on the on the comms. That's me. Um, Hello. She picks the game of the day, and today was Children of Morta. Grumpy old noob, what is that? A renowned ruler Ray noob. Of oh, it's a pasta and noodle. Oh, that's very Fave. cute. I love that. Fave Shadow, thank you so much. Oh, oh, that's a sound. Yeah, the little ones, they, they crack open really strong the best Christmas cookies every year. She spends like three weeks baking and gives them to everybody. She doesn't give them to everybody because she didn't give them to me. A big old homemade chocolate chip or peanut butter with peanut butter cups. Wow. You know what? Like, normally I would say, yeah, it's not really my thing. I don't really eat lemon cookies. I don't really eat chocolate chip or don't even eat peanut butter. But you know what? A free cookie is a free cookie. And free cookies are the best tasting cookies. That's that's a fact. Reduces I cool down. I have not seen a buckeye in forever. Do you know what buckeyes are, Queef? No. No, I'm not from here. You know that. Stop. 
You you have random Oh wait, wait, wait. It's Captain America's best friend. That's Bucky, not Buckeye. But but A for, A, A for effort. A for effort. It's an oatmeal raisin cookie. Why am I doing this? Thank you. Uh, we don't right now. We will in the next couple of days. I actually got another request for a PO box. I'm like, crap, now I got to get one. Bo is correct. It, it's like a ball of peanut butter dipped in chocolate. Like there's other kinds. Um, like people kind of bastardize it. But yeah, it's like specific uh, to uh, it's like Midwest, right? Like Ohio ish area. Yeah, that's what we would call them in the south, too, Junko. This is very difficult. Melfina oh, that's has a local shop with special Buckeye. I was just thinking, we've used the word special a couple of times, a few times in the last few minutes. If somebody's in chat and doesn't know what special is, they're very confused. And they're probably just thinking that they're made with love. Well, they are. French, I had no idea they existed until uh, an ex's friend came into town to visit and brought some, and I'm like, what? What is this shit? Like, what? It, what is this? I was trying to send y'all beanies and cookies. Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah, uh, give me at least a couple of days. I found the place. Um, LA has a big parking problem, so I was trying to find a place that uh, would be easy to go in and, and I wouldn't have to drive around for hours to find parking, but uh, but yeah, I will get drive, it taken care drive of. Drive around for hours in LA? What? Relatively speaking. Relatively speaking, but thank you, sir. Occasionally a bakery near me makes peanut butter stuffed Nutella cookies that are so good. Nutella? It's something that I can only have in small doses. Like, like again, I'm not a chocolate person in general, so it's, uh... But it, it's okay, like, in, in tiny doses. Borderline drug level peanut butter addiction, so I'm gonna have to find these. You will absolutely enjoy them, if you love peanut butter. Um, um. I think we have crumble? On an evening just like any other, the old man appeared, followed by someone else. I'm looking right now. His apprentice. The man Find a now crumble. carried the weight of two. Like I know that the they just where youthful built curiosity. Some? Yeah, like so they have some in Orange County and out by Disney. So like kind of sort of like haven with the Bergsons, an hour away so that he may discover but still, something somewhat close. worthy of his son's it'd be legacy. good for a, a cookie drive go driving with my, my hubby uh ray what what did you stream this evening how how was it book of ray it was merely a soothing potion mark sought among his grandma's books but what he found was like a bolt of lightning. He has a 200 year old recipe for they shortbread. Would have to sacrifice the newborn babe to the well, I prefer really? mine fresh, but. To stem the tide of the I mean, a, again, a free cookie is a free cookie. Knowledge sometimes brings great suffering to the compassionate. Bo, there is a variety of cookie where it's like, it's one of those like chocolate cookies like not a chocolate chip cookie but a chocolate cookie with peanut butter um i think it's going to depend on what part of the country you're in or essentially just finding the right recipe um in the south the the actual buckeyes we call them just peanut butter balls um 
and we don't have a specific name for the chocolate cookies with peanut butter, except maybe like a peanut butter chocolate cookie. Like there is no specific name. Kevin, Kevin's a little, little shit. Of course his name's Kevin. Came back this holiday weekend to keep playing Alien Isolation. Ah, oh, okay. Good. Wow. It's scary and I dislike. There you go. That's something we're sharing <laughs> coming. Why is Kevin wearing a mask? Mask of Hazir. Some folks attribute Kevin's impressive movement speed not to his inherent skill, but rather to a mask his brother Mark found at the forest temple and gave to him as a gift. Oh, it's just, it's just literally a mask? That's fucking weird, isn't it? Okay. He's now wearing a mask. Kevin. Why oh, you can be so different? Alien wasn't scary to you because he liked Xenos? I'm the biggest fan of Alien that I know, and uh, I couldn't... I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Going to go ahead and leave you guys for the night. I need to go clean a kitchen. It has been haunting me for several days. I need to take care of it before I go to bed. That was my uh, my mandatory to do today. So I'm going to do that. Thank you for hanging out with me earlier. And if you would like to talk to me again, please join me tomorrow at 530. And thank we will you. have a pre -game. Thank you, Mr. Well. No, no, thank you. No, no, it won't have it. Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. I love you all. Behave. For your father, please. Kevin's impressive speed. We'll see. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Robert. Robert, not Kevin? This good. This guy's got some moves. Okay. I don't know why I disliked him in the in the beginning. This is. I think chat convinced me the last time we played to use Kevin. And I found him really strong. Maybe it's because I moved from keyboard mouse to controller. That's a possibility. Yeah, Alien Isolation is one of those games that people want to see me play. Um. Four steps were to be taken oh, yeah. in the correct order. Not three. Ah, oh, shit. That's quite the cornucopia. What about number four? Not four. Okay. Don't push the buttons, Queep. Not number one. Cool. So it must be number three then. What are these fucking blobby things. Oh, they're, they're just blobby things. Okay. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Don't like that. Right, so number two. Let me guess. Not number one. Fuck. I'm going to die. Kevin! Why are you the way you are? Kevin. This is a tough zone. I wonder if I should farm the, the first area a bit more. Yo, Finn, what's up, dude? Hope you had a good Christmas, my man. Back to Baharut. Mark. 
Mark, Kevin, John, Linda, Joey, Lucy, Apan. <laughs> who's the Who's the main or the the first person you get? I think it was I think it was Lucy actually. That's Dad. No, no, that's Dad. John is Dad. Need to grab the DLC that does the full roguelike mode. Yeah, so that's that's free. And I think you only have to beat a first boss to, to unlock it. Um, if you have the game, I think you already have it. I think. Um, there was a DLC I bought this evening. And... Um, oh, we can block. Cool. And it's, uh, it's a small update. It's five bucks. It's on special for four during the sale. And uh, hell yeah, let's go. Let's go, Gramps. Um, it gives you like masks and extra unlocks and, and apparently there's like Kickstarter backer stuff in the game and an extra player, an extra character to use in, in the, in the family trials mode. So the one thing that I've already mentioned tonight is that I wish there was more impactful sounds. Not just the weapon swings, but when you actually hit something, there's a squelch or a, a, a hit. There's, there's nothing there. You just hear grunting and, and swinging. Right, I think, yeah, I bought the, um, I had the base game, but I bought the, uh, what's it called? And I think, don't, didn't they, at, for, or at least for a time, they donated all the money they made from DLCs to charity or something? I can't remember. One of them was a, a pet specific one, it was the pets update one, I think. Very cool. Oh no! John, please! Do better than your son. Oh, McQueen, why don't you block more? Knock, was that knockout or knock back block? Nice. The older brother? The, the the big hammer guy? Or was he an extra one? Oh. Fight? Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, the sound effects are, are kind of weak. A little disappointing.
Wave three. Something's still alive. Oh, there you are. Hi. Name's McQueeb. John. John McQueeb. Children of Mortar was a Christmas movie. Many whelps left side. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Handle it. <laughs> Heart invigoration charm temporarily increases rage gain. Yuki the Seal, a protector that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. A Divine Grace is, uh, is a passive upgrade for the run. That sounds dope. Thank you, Yuki. Pet the seal? <laughs> you cannot pet the seal. Not yet. I wonder if the seal is an unlockable pet like the um like the 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 dogger. See father's Wait, of the same blood. Increase the max health of all family members, right? So every every 4, 8, 14, and 20, once you hit those levels, um, you get passive upgrades for everybody, which is cool. It's a, it's a clever feature. Not many games do that. Father's Authority, on our next level, family members gain Heaven Strike runes for their various abilities. I mean, I'm sure it's good, whatever. Uh, Father's protection. John appears to shield any attack that would cause fatal damage upon any of his family members. Three minute cooldown. Like that's... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Chance for John's primary attack to reset Heaven Strike. Oh my god, hell yeah. Oh, I need three for that? Guardian's Rage. Increase John's armor. Sure. Three for that, too. Okay, fine. What's this? Shield of Thorns. Melee attackers take damage when blocked. Lame, man. Unleash your rage to become temporary... To temporarily become invulnerable and deal thorn damage to attackers. Sure. Six seconds. I only want to spend one point, but then I need two levels to get... Well, we could go straight into here. Five percent chance to reset the cooldown. Fuck yeah! All right, cool. Next Heaven Strike is critical. Alright. Obelisk of Force, pretty good. Now I'm just looking for a shitload of enemies. Nice. Not good, not good. Oh, we're hurting. We're hurting a lot. Help! I 
does refill health a little, I think. Too far away or not in line of sight. Uh-oh. Found an item, common animals treat. Right, because you feed your pets to level them. Heaven's wreath falls in a circle around John. Versus Lucy's heavenly cyclone summons a cyclone on impact of heaven strike. <laughs> yeah. See, these are only temporary as well. You can charge up runes. You can pay to have them refilled. And they activate on use, I think. Divine Relic. Resets the cooldowns of all your abilities and fill up your rage. Ah, it's a one-off. Well, no, sorry. It's a repeatable. It's like an active item. I had a lot of trouble with that, learning the difference between relics and graces and, and all the rest. So used to uh, other games that just call them different names, I guess. Uh oh, wait, where are you going? What else would the oppressed slaves ask for in their prayers to the spirits of the land but a return to freedom and happiness? The Bergson wondered whether Anai Raha could answer the prayers. Or, if his sleep proved too deep to even hear his people's cries. An Iraha. See, there's a, there's a fair bit of gold in there. Like, nothing to sneeze at. Sorry, what do they call it? Morph? Morb? Yeah, something like that. That, every every piece of gold, despite gold being very, like, basic, that's that's your meta progression outside of each run. Adam continues about their run-ins with the bandits. I've only played maybe 10 hours total of this game. I don't know why I didn't stick with it. It's cool. Ah! That's why. Another level, nice. So we can wait, how many do we have? Two. No, one. Increase John John's maximum stamina. What about attack speed? Shield slam. I really just want to drop an extra point here or here. Need three for that one, so that's two more levels. You don't have to spend the levels either. They come back. You don't lose anything you don't spend. So you can go on multiple runs and farm up if you want. Just remember that using the same character multiple times, they inflict or, or succumb to fatigue, which decreases their max HP.
That is cool. Um, it's a shame that that's temporary. Although in saying that, I could pay at a shop to have it refreshed. Oh, what a pain in the butt he is. What this? A charm. Swap every divine relic after it is used with another random one. Uh, that doesn't sound very good, does it? If you had a crappy build, I guess. Oh, John. John's going down. We got a John emergency. Oh, thank God. What do we got going on through here? Uh. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. A temporary reprieve offered. Divine by Grace increases dodge chance. Nice. That's a passive. We do have that chest to open over there. A mass ma masak. Mass masak. Shields are more effective, but health globes heal less. Sure. I think we want to use that, actually. That's where it came from. Maybe? No, that's where we're going. Or is it over here? Mass Massacre. Okay. Three of four for the ziggurat. You're outside the map. Oh, sh that wasn't good. Oh, the red guy. Okay, I understand. He's bad.
Kevin's shield watch. Blocking attacks something. Kevin! Oh, tell me it does the... Yeah, there's a little slash through the air. It's like Kevin's spirit or whatever. Ah, oh, no! Don't you dare! Jesus Christ, can you not? Ah, that's probably a bad idea, right? Yeah, wave-based combat right now? I need health. Pretty bad. Perfect timing on that. be just cool. Smite everyone. store my dude here we go what do we got there are several small bombs in front of you that sounds amazing yes yes oh i'm broke now Is that the guy I rescued earlier? No, I'm not sure. I love that games are different, right? Otherwise, we'd be playing the same game over and over again. But when they mix up the mechanics and you've got such a rich story and a lot to take keep track of. If you played it straight through and it was like one of the only games you played, kind of like a Hades situation, right? Reminds me, I've got to try Hades again. Um, It's, it's, it's pretty good the way they do it. Uh, but it can also be very, very much a, a lot to relearn. Like if you go on six month, year hi hiatus from a game, you come back to it. The world as you know it, it's about to change forever. Thanks Morpheus. Yeah, you see that big uh, whoosh behind? This one's the next one on your list. How much is the total package? I love Steam sales. I mean, I hate them and I love them all at the same time. Whenever you go from Warframe to any other third-person shooter, you struggle not to bullet jump. Yeah, it's it's weird, right? Like, you, you play a game long enough, those skills become ingrained. I don't think I should do the... Uh... But you're John. I know I'm John. Now I should be using this time 
while there's only one very slim moving creature on the screen to recharge everything. 17 bucks for the whole bundle, including DLC. Pretty good. There's a lot of story here. I know people that have put in over 100 hours into this game. That didn't work out too well, did it? Yeah, it definitely needs more sound effects. Like, the dinging of the shield is cool. But I want to hear, like, when I hit an enemy, I want to hear that shit. Anything over 10 bucks US is a lot more in Canadian. Really? Does it not, um, like, somewhat equal out? Two. Inflict lightning damage when combo kill counter reaches high levels. Alright, Riders on the Storm. That's a good name for a song. Ah, uh, just walk into it, why don't you? treat do you need to do keep upkeep with the pets maybe do they lose some of their uh mojo well we're about to find out i guess primary attacks damage increases with the number of gemstones possessed money equals power shit One in chat gifted you townscapers, but they wanted to gift you another game, but the currency difference was so much they couldn't. Dang. Okay. What this? Mask of the Southern God. Okay, there's a different mask we can wear during... Or mask for a different person, maybe? I don't know. No. Masks are brand new. Good. Nice work, idiot.
Straight into the boss, you reckon? Probably, yeah. Or a regular level. No, regular, maybe. Yep. Oh, that's cool. What's that coming from? Game needs a necromancer badly. table fit for the gods but a game made for mortals a hand was hung of the gods on the pedestal, what and their best was to be given hey okay, pong doesn't work that way So I get three lives and he gets, what, 50, 60? Lucky. Collect reward. Looks like rare stamina drain. Primary attack siphon stamina. Okay. Rare animal treat. Dope. It's a new game. I haven't seen that one before. $17 Canadian is $13.26. Let me check Steam real quick. Children of Morda. Uh -huh. um, uh, bundle info, I guess. So it would be eight seventy nine plus four bucks, which would be twelve seventy eight plus one sixty is 14 1430 I think fourteen fifteen fourteen fifteen bucks fourteen forty maybe close to Can you feel the cheese tonight? That's the question. Fr freshly risen? Hello, my friend. Stream is going wonderfully. I am very tired tonight. I didn't get a huge amount of sleep last night, unfortunately. Um, but I'm cheesing enemies at the moment. That always feels good. Oh, don't walk away. I'm th the huge threat is over here. You need to be over here. There you go. AUD was 60 cents the US dollar. So that's one thing I found really odd. When I was growing up, we used to pay $100 for a video game. That was standard and, and Americans would pay um, 60, right? Now that made sense when I was a kid because of the exchange rate. However, the either the US dollar got weaker or the Australia, I don't exactly know how currency conversion stuff works. But it ended up being that the Australian dollar um, how did it work? The exchange rate changed, but we were still paying a hundred dollars for a game, even though I don't know, I'm not explaining this very well. But yeah, some some shenaniganery was going on.
Oh, we have three points. That is an upgrade for my... Divine Grace. Activating obelisks will also heal you. Okay. Another one? Oh my god. Come on, guys. Be nice. Just, a, just be nice. Be a little bit nice. Thank you. Am I not getting XP for them or what? Like... It's ridiculously powerful being able to attack through fucking walls. Now? Poppers. Thank you. First time coming to this boss, whatever it is. Looks like an arena. It's the Minotaur. I don't have children in Oh, I forgot to do it. I'll fix that after the stream. I'm, I'm not going to be able to stay awake much longer anyway. Aneiraha. The god of the free wind. Oh shit. Now tethered to the ground. His voice to the people. Now just the warden of his prison. What do I think of Wildermyth? Um very deep. Very much like a Pathfinder, in fact. Um That was effective. This is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, very, very deep. Un like, surprisingly so. And, uh, a little overwhelming. Another one that's way story rich and one that I'd probably enjoy, but just it's not a stream game for me. Uh-oh. Fuck. Oh, okay. I get it now. Yeah, that's not good. Holy crap. Drop another healing orb, please. Oh, not even blocks are working. 
He's relentless. Fuck. I'm gonna need like a much better build or level my dudes, probably, more importantly. Toast. pick up as much money as possible because that shit lets us level up. Uh, I dodged that. That is lies. That was the luckiest fucking dodge ever. Okay, he's got a new move. That's cool. I ain't got that. Get greedy, Queeb. I know you're thinking it. True. One five oh, thank you so much. Tier two for two months, my dude. Welcome back. Nice. 
collect that gold, dude. The air touched him, filling him and ruffling his feathers. That was pretty close. Looked upon the Bergson, small and fragile, but so full of hope. Infectious hope. Perhaps this would be the last time. It will not be the last time. 42 minute run. 6,707 Morv found. Later, Murder Hobo. Take it easy, dude. Yeah, I am not far behind you. I am, uh... I gotta get some sleep, man. Do we unlock the third zone now? The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. And so it was their fate to do battle. The children of Rhea Dana, on the cusp of victory, would find their world overrun with the corrupted, drowning them. And when they could fight no more, they would bow to Ooze demand. no salvation in fighting his corruption. By giving a heart-wrenching sacrifice, they would stay the gods' thirst for mere centuries. Oh no, hell no. revealed to the Bergsons but there was still more hidden the children of Rhea Dana the Bergsons destiny how much of it grandma had found out before her demise were the subject of much speculation among the family speculation without certainty when Linda told them about Mary's deterioration. They knew they had to do something to prevent another catastrophe. Mark tried to help with his knowledge of herbs. He knew that somewhere around Berahut was a tree and an extract of its seeds might help stop Mary's chills and fever. But Barahat had surrendered to the corruption, and not even the trees were safe from it. Graphics remind me, especially when they're zooming in like that, of Monkey Island, like the original. Um, so first of all, let's look at the animal shelter. Do we have any other animals? Joey and Mark had not uh. known each other for long. But as happens with some young men their age, a friendly rivalry was already taking shape. Right. So family luck. The reason I selected the dog in the first place was because I think luck is the amount of money you earn. I just wanted to stack luck. Um, and for that reason... A 10k to spend. Hell yeah. 
Max level reached on that, okay. What's next? XP gain? Probably. Because that then would level our... Um, our our uh, passive levels within within each character, which would then unlock family bonuses, which would be a good idea. Rune durability be kind of good too. What's this? Relic mastery, divine relic cooldown. Nah. Obelisk remembrance increases the efficiency of obelisk effects. We could just go for more attack stuff as well. Why are these locked? Obviously, I haven't met the requirements for that yet. Family rage gain. Dodge chance is good. I think armor. Max health. Definitely. Yep. Yep. And that's all I can afford. And then, if we go back over to the doggo. And we give the doggo treats. Ah, uh, okay. Got it. I wonder if that increases his excitedness meter. Let's have a look. It does. Got it. So rare... Rare treats increase the percentage gain... Regular treats increase the the length. So essentially you save up three, I guess. You unlock 20% of whatever it is you want to keep up to date. And then you feed it regularly common animal treats. I think that's how that works. I wonder if we can do multiple at the same time. XP gain. Movement speed be good. Critical chance. Dodge chance. For XP gain. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. We, we need the the cash is king in this. So increase your income as much as you can. Each time Kevin dabbed his mother's forehead with a wet cloth, he could feel her breath coming a little easier. He would do it forever if he knew it would make her well. Hey, Lord Kempek, how you doing? Any tips to play through the campaign? Ah, uh, I'm. I've only got about 10, maybe 15 hours in it total. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't, I couldn't give you that information, I'm afraid. All I, all I can recommend is to use all of the different characters at your disposal and keep, keep farming. Um, uh, this upgrade right here at the very top called Hoarder increases more, more of his what you use to unlock all of the other shit in the game. Um, so yeah, you, you need that. So stack that up as much as you can. We've got it at max now, which is 160% chance or gain. And then XP is secondary because each character, show you that real quick. The beauty of the ancient there, now we get the third section was still unlocked. evident through the decay brought on by time and sand. But Each character has um, their own levels. The You'll notice, the you can see, see what I've used the most of, right? So Linda, then John, then Kevin, surprisingly, uh, and Joey as well. Um, and Apan's new. That's a newer character. Kevin's being a dick with the mask on. Oh, we can spend skill points right now. Let me see. So each one of these levels on the left, after you spend a point in the tree, right, which is done from this row, the, sorry, this column here, second column onwards, um, the little bar on the left goes up, and when you hit each milestone, um, you unlock a passive for the entire family. It's not the most amazing thing but they all add up together and yeah so for example um 
increases the family's, family's critical damage, right? Uh, family members gain Kevin's abilities runes. So we've, we had that tonight on... Was it the dude we were just using? Whatever. Um, when he activated his special with that specific rune attached, it, there was a little Kevin in the background darting around with his, with his blades. It happened super fast, and I don't even think you saw Kevin, but it kind of worked. You can reset your abilities as well. Oh, okay, so if you don't like your build, you can switch it up. Where's the other mask, I wonder? Is it just for him? Mask. That looks so fucking silly. <laughs> Mask of Tars, a mask carved from black wood and adorned with an emerald and amber, a mask that breeds fear into the hearts of those who dare cross the wearer, causing them to flee in terror. John inherited this heirloom from his forefathers. That's brand new. That's in the latest DLC. It's from like Kickstarter backers or something. I'm not sure the, the link there, but um, I does it have an effect? Is it a thing? Breeds fear into the hearts of those who dare cross the wearer, causing them to flee in terror. It looks so funky. Not scary at all for your infant child. Um, and yeah, if you if you use a character too much, I've sort of sp spread them out this this playthrough. But if you use a character too much, they get fatigued and their max HP goes down. That can be pretty significant too. I found that a lot with. Um, Linda, who's the archer. And then all those little things up the top, you see, are all of the passive upgrades that I've unlocked for each of the different ones. And there's still a ton to go. So use Kevin. He's really fucking good. I think I even want to run with him back in the day. I don't know. I, I had a great trip down memory lane with this. This is cool. Um, I picked up the DLC tonight for um, a couple of bucks. Yeah, I recommend it. I recommend it. What do we say? What was it 14, 15 bucks total, I think? Uh if you if you need the full game at the moment, it's sixty percent off. A bit more in, in Canadian dollars, doll hairs. Um, I think that'll do it for me tonight. I'm I'm just I'm wiped. Um but we're gonna raid on someone. Let's have a look. Let me let me find a victim. Let's, uh, let's drop in on... What the hell is Prop Night? I've seen this a lot lately. Alright, we're gonna drop in on Comment Bagel. Playing Isaac. Amazing Isaac streamer. Yeah, I made, I made strong fun of Kevin when I, when I used him. Just because, I don't know. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Folks, have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, see you tomorrow, 5.30. Ms. Quee will lead out the stream. Another random game of the day. Uh, we got to catch up on a few, and I'll update the spreadsheet tonight and get that done as well. Thank you so much. See you then.